Hello, hi, hi, hi. Welcome back to Snapkick Has Not Slept in quite a while. So, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to stream, so I pussy put around starting to stream. But hey, here we are. It's all good. I hope you are all doing well today. Welcome on in. We're gonna do some Phantom Hourglass, yeah, yeah. Might do some more later. Uh, and fun fact, the Rebel Transmute uh, Kickstarter ends in about 15 hours. And I know for the last two hours, Evan Tor is going to be uh, streaming, doing like a little bit of hype drum up. So I might actually stream some Rebel Transmute before that and raid him. But we'll see. We'll see if I'm awake for it. Your own brand hair playing game. Yeah, but the Japanese Gaburin. She's wonderful. What's so scary about that? You goddamn cheater with your flip screen bullshit. Don't even act like you're innocent. Don't even act like you're scared. You play the system. I still love that tweet that people were like calling you out like, wow, way to cheat the boss. Wow. Like, oh my God. People act, there are a couple people who seemed like they were actually a bit miffed about it, which is just amusing. Even though most of them seem to be cool with it. <laughs> True, she is a fucking disgusting cheater. Anyways, hello. Honest Twitter moment. Dude, I I hate so much that I ha like I felt obligated to make a Twitter for stream stuff. Because I've ended up losing time on Twitter. Like, more than I care to admit. Because I, I get really addictive with that sort of scroll, 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 social media bullshit. I ended up... On a completely, like, funny enough, it didn't even start on Twitter, but I ended up going down a fucking rabbit hole of, like, K8, specifically Kingdom Hearts 3 rando drama. Not to do with Kingdom Hearts 2 rando, not to do with Kingdom Hearts 1 rando or BBS rando, just K8 3 rando drama. And, uh, a certain streamer who shall go on name that I've called out for being a bit of a shit, not a shit heel, but a bit full of himself. In the past, proved me right. It, it's very addictive just to look at funny pictures and then see, like, huh, how are people being stupid today? This is fascinating. It's just, like, people watching. But the people are, like, absolute shit, and you, you end up worse for it. But oh well, hi. Let us play a video game. Man, I'm glad I don't like KH3, otherwise I would have been adjacent to all that stupid bullshit, eh? Yeah. I was gonna say, I noticed, like, down here it was all black. I'm like, uh, that's not right, is it? I oh, whatever. Yo, three fairies! Right, so last we left off, we were starting the ghost ship. I have to play around with the volume here a little bit. It sounds like it's a little quiet, but I never trust. Oh, and yeah, the slider doesn't even have like a number on it or something. It's just like a generic slider for volumes and it. Great. And yeah, honestly, a really, really good end to the story. I was surprised. It was really enjoyable. Then the credits, then a post credits. Really? Huh. Yeah, I thought there was. I don't know why it didn't play. Oh. Well. Better fit their own story? Maybe, yeah. I, I suppose that could be the case. Uh, can I at least want to throw... Up? Do you want to haul anchor and leave? No! Captain Shivering. I fucking hate this stupid fairy. What a bitch. <laughs> 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 Wait, can I get that? Oh, uh, come on. It's floating above me. Oh, what's that bullshit? Literally floating on my head. Okay, I see how it is. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. After, like, two days of not playing it. Uh, we got, like, a Matryoshka doll on the left side of the ship. That's pretty cool. That's a combat room. Let me see if I can pop some... Whew. Spider. So let's see if I can get some hearts from the stuff. Schneck. 
There we go. Give. Can I jump this? Oh, I can. Okay. So I'm not sure what the danger there is. Cool. Just to, to test of if you can jump. Why not? Okay, now you're just treasure chest, dude. Uh, no. So, when we get to a certain level of the ship, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to see if childhood me was crazy, if my game was glitched. I don't know, because there is something I believe in the ghost ship. A certain puzzle that essentially softlocked me. Because the puzzle, like, solution given to you in a different room just wasn't correct. I think I mentioned it before, I ended up buying, like, the Prima Guide or whatever, only to figure out, oh, even that is wrong. Cool. I also ended up watching a bit of a... a speedrun for this game. And, like, the speedrun's actually pretty neat. It's... it's a lot of cutscene skipping and a lot of, like, skipping through dialogue. But even within that, there's like, oh, hey, you can skip past some dialogue if you, uh... Wrong button. You can skip past some dialogue if you, uh... What am I looking for? Like, uh, take a death to warp back to the beginning of the dungeon, thus skipping the triggers, stuff like that. Which is neat. Sob sob. Uh, yes, trustworthy Matryoshka doll. Could you be the legendary? Yes. You finally came. I am the youngest daughter of the great house of Kubus. My sisters were living in peace when we were suddenly snatched away. We've been locked up on this boat ever since, waiting to be saved. Three glitches, and he found one of them, so he found 33% of the glitches. <laughs> nah, that is pretty funny, yeah. Because it looked like the... What little bit of the run I saw... Because granted, the any percent run is like three hours. Uh... It didn't seem like there were that many glitches, but what I liked was the dungeon movement and the way they dealt with, uh, combat rooms. Like, the combat rooms were efficient and clean. Not like, it, like, I feel like with some basic knowledge, it's not, like, amazing or anything, but it, it looked really cool. Just a lot of cutscene stuff. Because you can skip the, like, pre- like, this is probably a cutscene you can skip, but then there's also ones like this you can't, so, I don't know. Everything is fine now that you're here to rescue us. This is your chance to be a true hero. They are locked up somewhere on the ship. There are four of us in the Cubist family. Didn't you say three? I just couldn't bear it if I was the only one saved. Teehee. Okay. Most of the abducted have fallen victim to the Reaplings in the hood. Is that the enemies I just killed or are you a Reapling? Let's say they are fallen. Fallen! They are the fallen. Excuse me, never mind that. I don't know what came over me. I am totally not haunted. BTW. Just under four hours, ooh. Ooh. Man. Man. You see, I wonder if there is... Like, I feel like with any game in sufficient time, there are glitches to be found that could help in a speedrun, but I wonder if anybody ever will even find the glitches that make these better speedrun games, because that's such a fucking long run for an any percent Zelda game. Holy shit. It's because of these cutscenes. It's entirely because you have to skip through so much dialogue. Shouldn't they think they'd be alive on this ship? Think it's the Cubist girl. Well, we just saw snakes. They're alive. I bet they've got Tetra locked up somewhere just like the Cubist sisters. I'm guessing those Reaplings in the hold are scary. So no matter, we gotta help them out. Maybe the little sisters are locked up here will know where Tetra is. Okay. Spider. Like, yeah, that's not alive? Okay, jackass. Found. Uh, oh uh, yeah. Oh, I can't shoot it, dude. Barrel's in the way. ba da ba ba It's still useful, baby. I if I draw a... S right, start here because it's going to drag my camera forward. There we go. Good job. Cool stuff. Ah, oh, that's mean. Ah, oh, it's funny, but it's mean. Oh, wrong button, damn it. Wait. Oh, the damages, okay. Huh. Oh, uh, just stun. Damn it. I guess that turns the spikes off? Which, they were already on a timer. I don't know why you need to turn them off, but fine. Let's see, are they gonna be mean again? 
Shockingly, no. Is there anything down here to see? No. Triangle. Which hole does the triangle go? Oh, geez, I wonder how to get past this. Truly humongous brain plays here. God, these spiders are really tiny, but they're also really fast, and they seem to come out at very random times. Ow. Like that. They don't even come out, like, in response to you directly. They almost seem to wait. Give. Yo, a triangle! Woo! Uh, oh no, what do I... He's a fucking genius. Oh yeah, one of the things the, the first dungeon did, like, on top of introducing, you know, put the shape in the right hole, it only ever had the one shape, but it actually made you take the same shape to a different spot. So, like, immediately it introduced that concept, like, unambiguously. So, hopefully later dungeons can take advantage of that and not handhold me. Who is there? So my younger sister asked you to save me. I see. I am the third sister of the House of Cubbus. Will you please take me to where my younger sister is? Okay. I guess she's gonna go way at the spiders. Yeah, like that. Eek. Spiders. Yeah, I know, I'm dealing with it. Hold up. Find out. <laughs> Oh, no, I hope, uh, I hope there's not a funny dialogue every single time she gets spooked because I left spiders behind. Huh. No, my queen, please don't delay me, you know. Uh, we're good. Well, what about this in the right order, at least? Alright, do I have to gather you all over here in the cool route so you can turn into, like, an uber monster? Big sister. There you are, little sister. I'm so happy you're okay. Now we can open up our chest and get inside of each other. Thank you very much. I'm so very sad my little sister was not a toucher after all. Will you please bring my other two sisters back here? Okay. We'll be eating this candy while we wait. Smirks on our faces. That is weirdly menacing to say, but okay. Called Reaplings that patrol the floor below, be careful. I, I think they're just basically... You might get so scared your face gets frozen that way. I, I think they're just like phantoms, basically. Oh. Ah. Oh, I have no idea who that might be. Damn. Got my hopes up for fucking nothing. What a shame. Can I open that little fire shortcut? Below me here. Oh, you need the circle for that. Circle. I am circleless. What a shame. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let me guess. The second I step out. Yep. All right. Friends. Did, did you see that? The monster is even scarier looking than anything we've seen before, and it's probably one of the replings the Cubist girl was talking about. They don't even bother mentioning the, the safe zone here or, like, asking about it. There's no need to. Uh, hey, what's up? It's a big guy for you, absolutely. Three, okay. Uh, let's not go towards him. I don't know how exactly they differ mechanic. Uh, they differ mechanically, if at all. But I re I I'm guessing they do. Path there. I'm guessing uh, it's not going to be good if Sister Dearest gets seen. I'll wait. Treasure's just there. Alright, so I do have to go this way. Uh, this is not the uh, Ocean Palace. This is the Ghost Ship. It is not cursed, but there just so happens to be the safe zones because there are the phantom mon- not phantoms, the replings there, which I guess work similar. 
Kind of confusing, but not too bad. Kill the spiders preemptively. Oh, it does hear that shit. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know if these guys work any differently or if they're just differently co- They're- they're cosmetically different. Oh, fuck, what? How do you see me? Wait. Damn it. Wait, I see a weak spot on his back. Hold on. Damn it. Oh, I guess every now and then they just, like, stop and look around? Oh, yeah, you can do that to stun them! But, uh, th th that's the best you can do. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Fast as fuck. They're thankfully only as fast as you, so it's not like they're amazingly fast, but they, they're still... You better run! <laughs> Who are you? Uh, I see a Teehee. I am the second daughter of the House of Cubbis. No, I've never heard of anyone named Tetra, but enough about that. Won't you escort me back? Uh, yeah, no, fuck your problems. Huh, let's see how it is. Oh yes, sink. A lovely treasure rest here. There are two chests. You must pick one. Definitely pick the left. Left, yes, yes, the left. You know which one is left? No. Teehee, aren't you funny? That isn't right. The dungeon, it's somehow good. Yeah, it's better because you know, like... Fuck these bitches. Fuck these bitches. I ain't grabbing that one. Hell no. Actually, can I save state just to see what it is? I can. I want to see what it is. Just for funsies here. Because I'm pretty sure it's literally a root pour. Yeah, it's a root pour. Oh, and it spawns another guy. Oh, that's right. Funny. Looks like I made a witch hole mistake. Oopsie whoopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> Get fucked. No way. No how. Oh, wait, I want to land the guy. Well, you should damn well notice at this point. Hey, wait a second. Something is a little sussy about these things. Something's a little sussy about these female creatures. I don't think I trust them necessarily. Oh, oh yeah, the phantom hears them scream and doesn't care about them? In case you needed any more of an idea that they're not necessarily, uh, you know, your friends. Stun him for a moment. Hello. Wah, wah, wah. Cry about it. Oh, she's literally waiting on the fucking spider. Cool. Uh oh. Oh, the big guy didn't hear her. Oh, I guess she didn't scream because he was already stunned. Yeah, or he's in a stun. I don't know. Eek, sink, aha, uh -huh. oops, sorry, you had, just, you just had a bit of a cold, tee hee, ha uh -huh. Soikle. But then she's gonna do that shit, so you know what, you can deal with that, queen. You can deal with the reaper. I'm sure you'll be fine. Have at it. Look, he even comes to me, past her, oh my god. I wouldn't scream if I knew the literal reaper was also stalking the halls looking for me, though. Or at least I would attempt not to. Oh, don't tell me he can see me from there. Wee, wee, okay, no, move, 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 move. I'm he oh my, I walked too far, really. Wee! Oh my god. Please. Okay. Up here. Carrying items through rooms. Truly revolutionary. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I know. I know. Spider. Spider and cider. I know. Hold on. Another one. Ooh. 
Let us continue. The man-eating spider? Fuck no! Fuck no, the man-eating spider does like a heart or two. It's not even really man-eating. It, it's more just that it's swiping at you and probably like trying to bite you. The reaper one-shots you and probably can move through walls. Might even have laser vision if we think about it really, in a, like realistic terms. For all we know, he could have anamorphing powers. I don't know if I want to fuck with that. Oh, big sister. There you are, little sister. So happy you're okay. Thank you so much, Cinco. But it seems as though the sister was not a Tetra either. Shame. What am I... Steam self updater. I don't... Okay, is this got an update to fix the inventory? Like, being shit. No? It's got a bunch of fixes in it, at least. Up, uh, fucking later. Go away. Loopers, bring my little sister back here safely. Yes. Oh, it's not happy about me tabbing out. Um, give it a second. Give it a second. All right. I don't know what it is with Melon. If I tab out for, like, more than a couple seconds, it just throws a hissy fit and ignores my inputs for a little bit. True! He could just stick his fingers into my neck and hold my artery hostage. I don't know if I'm ready for that. We'll be hoping for a uh, safe and swift return. Baited breath. The biggest scaredy cat of us all. You know, like barrels. Oh, okay, well, that's a good hint. Didn't think that you would come through for us. There are many steel drums in the storage locker on the bottom floor. Right, but there's also the, the thing blocking me from going down, so... Speaking of, let's just get some hearts. Nah, that's good enough. I do find that trap very, very funny, though. Oh, wait, no, there's a, another set of stairs right here. I never noticed. You know, come to think of it, again, my mind goes to rando. Like, uh, Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time have bee traps. Or, I guess, uh, in the case of Ocarina, it's more... Fool! So maybe in this we could have, like, reaper traps or something. Where it's just like, hey, every single floor has a chance to have a reaper, like, a predefined reaper path. If you get a Rupor on it, you spawn a reaper. You are a fool. Okay, this shit right here. This shit right here. This is what softlocks child me. It is literally you just pull them in the correct order. I have to see if I am actually just a dumbass kid or what. Because I swear, I went over it a million times, and the num like operation order of operations it told me every single time was incorrect. And then I looked up online, it was something completely different. Field drum storage, flip the switch to move the spikes. The switch is, uh, is on the left, and straight ahead. Okay. Hurry up. The steel drums are giggling to themselves, waiting for you to free them. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice fucking spider zizzer. Ah, that's clean. Ah, that's clean. Good positioning, a little spin, and you're good to go. Absolute pentakill. You are right. Uh, so what? This opens the spikes? I guess the sister's in there. Funny and- oh. Oh, very funny. Oh, extremely funny. Okay, uh, is there anything over here? What does this say? Some things in the world are meant to be pulled. You... It literally tells you the combination right here. I will even write it down. Because I swear it lied to me. Two, four, five, one, three... There's always an order in which such things must be pulled. So you can probably, like, stop and imagine what the fuck it's referring to. You can probably think about it. As it is, I don't even know if it's necessary, because I can... <laughs> yes. 
You get that one game. You win this time. I'll give you that one. That's funny. I'm not even mad. That's funny. Never pull that shit again, but that's funny. Right, so... <coughs> Let's assume it's left to right, left being one, right? So... Two... Four... Five... One... Three... Yep, it literally gives a... So, okay, what if it's the other way? Two... Four... Five... One... Three... Also incorrect, I guess. Yeah, so that right there is what really fucked me up. The tablet, like, almost directly states what the combination should be. Yeah, no, I see you saying wrong. <laughs> I, I, I see it. Don't be mean to me. Two, four, five, one, yeah, I don't know. Always in order in which such things must be pulled. What? What do you mean wrong? I literally don't see how that's incorrect. Like, the first time it should have been correct. Also, real quick, I'm just gonna... Ow. No, not incorrect! Fuck off! Don't bully me! I'm smart, I'm smart, I'm smart, I'm smart! I'm smart! Is there anything over here? No, it's not fun! Uh, okay, I have to wait for this motherfucker to move. Take his fat ass down here. Oh, I guess what I could do is just, uh, wake up. Wake up. Hey, bitch. Come here. Bye. Bye, bitch. Bye. Yeah, I just very, very, very specific. Shit, I wanted to read that sign, but okay. The left and straight ahead. Yeah, I, I assume that's literally just to, to fuck you with this trap, which there's no way to jump across. Yeah, look, look, the fairy even like, what are, okay, wait, no, it's just because of where I left, last left her. Um. Yeah, this is what always stumped me back in the day. Two, four, five, one, three. No matter which way you paint it, either this one or this one is two or four. Huh. My, my mind is almost kind of trying to draw a connection to something else here. But I, I can't quite place it. Yeah. Two, four, five, one, three. These are the order. Let me read the sign again. This is the shit that made me buy a Prima guide as a kid. I just fucking could not figure this out. We're meant to be pulled. Two, four, five, one, three. There is always an order in which such things must be pulled. And like, if I recall, the, the actual order isn't even like, oh, it's actually just one, two, three, four, five. It's something really stupid. Something really fucking stupid. Like, does it actually beep at me if I do it this way? No, nah, it does beat me. Where it was like, oh, by the way, the numbers are just slightly off from each other. It's actually like, you know, 24315 or something. What if I just pulled left to right?
What if the numbers are actually meaningless? Just pull watch right now. Push one back in after you pull it out. You know, my mind was trying to make that kind of connection. You made it for me. Let's find out. That's a negative, Ghost Rider. Okay. You cannot push it back in. Because that would have actually been very clever. But no, it looks like you cannot. Shoot your idea. Shoot your goo. What'd the sign say again? Just be stern. Hurry up. The steel drums are giggling to themselves, waiting for you to free them. Is there anything, like, over here? No. What the fuck am I? Could the barrel layout between the spikes have anything to do with it? Looking at it from here, I couldn't really say so. I'm not sure, like... There's a button right there. Otherwise, there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows, so not that. One, two, three, four, five columns, but too many to, like, make a number out of. Amounts instead of an order. Yeah, which I like that idea. Again, this is one that I just never, never, never figured out. And I'm still not sure what it wants of me. It also fucking pissed- I, I hate- I hate that thing up there. Literally just exists to spawn the ghost, and then this is useless. Oh my god. I, I, I'm honestly just kind of tempted to look it up, if I were to be real with you. Uh, which is entirely petty of me because I just have a bad, bad memory of this. Like, I would honestly walk back up to the girls and ask them for a hint or something, but I don't even think they give you one. Before doing these levers. There's not really anything else to do is the problem. Like, I I'll walk back up to, uh... <laughs> slow question. Yeah, I appreciate it. Take your time writing it out. It'll, it'll be a while. My answer might take you a little bit, though. There's not really anything else I can do that involves those numbers. I don't think. Like I said, the only other thing is, okay, maybe I should ask the Goyles some questions. See if they have, like, a hint for me, but I don't think they do. There are many steel drums. That leaves my older sister. Goyles. Right, so really the only hint you get is steel drums. Which, like, I'm not really looking to put on a, uh, like a, was it, marimba? Put on, uh, any sort of tropical vibes here. Goyle boys. Hey, it's a Goyle boss! Femoids? Uh, ooh. Oh my god, femoids detected, yeah. Don't remind me. Yeah, I, I... I don't like looking things up because I, I just don't find it fun, but this one, I, I need to see what, like, the justification is here. Because, again, this is something that completely fucking stumped me. Why is it split into chapter? Oh, right, this game is split into chapters, isn't it? Uh... Wait, is it? No. I, I've literally just come to this room. Oh, I also noticed my camera's all fucked up. I have literally just come to this room, but when I played this game as a kid, I distinctly remember that this entire puzzle right here is just weird bullshit that makes no sense. So I'm kind of unabashedly just looking at it. Uh, ghost ship. Lower deck. Third cubist sister. Second. Escort. In which... Okay. Wait. Oh, here it is. Okay, let me read this. Your main objective now concerns the steel drum storage uh, near the center of the room. A stone tablet just north of the storage room unveils the proper order in which to pull the levers. The written order, however, is a little misleading. First, label the levers, working them from left to right in the following order. One, two, three, four, five. Hello, Explore. 
I am okay. How are you? When you align the tablet's order under the labeled levers, you will discover that the hint you are given doesn't actually refer to the order of the labeled levers in which they should be pulled. Rather, they refer to the order in which the labeled letters should be pulled. Makes sense? Yeah, we figured as much. In which order do you pull the five switches while on the ghost ship? Instead of hurting yourself, follow this order. Relay race bond the past? Hell yeah, dude. Good luck with that. It sounds like some neat stuff. I was watching, uh... In my spare time, I was watching some tutorials earlier, and I, uh... Watched the, the clip and yeet tutorial, finally, which is very fun. That is exactly correct, Cyclone. What the fuck? That is exactly correct. I didn't even read it yet. How the fuck did you figure that out? How the fuck did you figure that out? What? Look at the numbers you wrote. Yeah. Two, four, five, one, three. Pull them in that order. No shit, but that doesn't work. Pull one, then two, etc. Uh huh. Okay, I'll pull one. I'll pull two. I'll pull three. I'll pull four. And I'll pull five. Huh? I I still don't get it. Wait, what? Fill me in on this one. J just fill me in on this one. I still don't get this. Fuck Nintendo wholeheartedly. Yeah, I agree. Fill me in. I love that this walkthrough doesn't even try to explain it. Label the levers working from left to right. One is the fourth in sequence, so pull four first. Oh. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Oh, I fucking hate this game. No, that's exactly correct, though. That is exactly correct. Then it'd be you. Oh my fucking god, I hate... I... Like I said, this was the shit where I was playing this game non-stop and I had to put the game down for a while as a kid. Because I, I had to get a guide to figure that out. That is fucking stupid. I, I, I wholeheartedly hate that. Oh my god, fuck that. Okay. Wow, that is upsetting. That is definitively fucking upsetting. Like, it makes perfect sense now that I see it. It's like with the goddamn Wind Waker compass. Once I see it, like, oh, well, of course, but... Oh, my God. Maybe this is a bit of, like, that, uh, my childhood bias coming into play here. Can you get the fuck over here? No, no, over here. Come here, fatty. No. Nope. Shit. No. Nope. Yeah, you clearly need a high IQ here. It's not enough that uh you solve puzzles. That's like the most fucking devious thing in this game too for some reason. Oh, uh, I was going I was hoping she was inside the barrel so I could just carry her. You found me getting so lonely. Who are you? 
I see. I'm the eldest sister in the house of Cubus. Take me to my sister's sink. Oh, there is one thing I have to tell you. The creepy creatures with the hoods and sickles are called Reaplings. They're evil, but they're even more devilish when they're angry. No matter what you do, don't shoot arrows into their back. The back is a sensitive part. It was not a me problem, I disagree. It's a me problem once I figure it out, but... It was only a me problem briefly. Oh, come on. Oh, she's doesn't care, huh? Uh, bat. Don't care. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! The lively devilish sink. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. I don't think literally everyone did. I'm pretty sure there are people who still didn't understand, like me. I'm pretty sure you can go back to the VOD on that one. Like, th that that's something that makes more sense than this, though. Whereas, like, now that I see it, it's like, oh. But man, it's just almost, like, mean. <laughs> it's mean. And I'm gonna cry about it until the cows come home. There are many cows. But it's fine, we're finally past that bit. Well, if the cows never come home, then the tears never stop, and thus eternal sadness. Oh, your explanation helped, no, Cyclone, like... Yeah, it literally is just, that is how a compass works. <laughs> Was enough to be like, oh. Uh, okay. I wonder if they have a cooldown on getting scared. So, like, I could run her past some spiders if she gets scared once. If she does, it's not a very long cooldown. By the way, Exa, uh, I'm curious. I, I am very, very basic getting into programming myself, like, extremely, extremely basic. What, uh, I assume you are writing the bot in, like, a specific language or something. What do you use? I just like to know more. Highlight the Wind Waker VODs? I did! They're on the, they're on the channel. They're on the channel and they're highlighted on, uh, on Twitch. Oh, oh, you mean, like, make a dedicated highlight. Right, right. Maybe. Big sister. There you are, little sister. Circle around, sister. Time for some family time. <laughs> Hiss. The Reapling should have scared the life from this boy in the hold. Does he know he's supposed to play along in this little game? All that means is we're going to have to play extra. <gasps> Did you come here to save Tetra, little man? I am excessively fucking speech. Then we'll play with you in the same way we played with her. Game time. No, don't don't play a video game with me. No. Yeah, no, I I can. The thing I realized is I've been able to do this forever. I can highlight videos like it. I'm not highlight. I can make a highlight on Twitch and then export the videos to YouTube the day I stream. I just never thought to actually use that feature. I might be a little dumb. If you want to save Tetra, you'll have... I also kind of didn't do it because it's like, oh, but I want the VODs to be good quality. <laughs> it's like, no, fuck it. Just get them up. If you want to save Tetra, you'll have to play a match of Dead Man's Volley. No, not volleyball. Are you a big enough boy to return the volleys? So sexy. Oh, no. I have to play volleyball. Uh, uh, uh. Ow. Shit. Polish music. Oh, I fucking love that video. It's a good one. Literally you. Owned. Murdered already. Yeah, nice sister. Does she come in dead like you do?
<laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, this is hard to do because I actually have to manually swipe and I can't just click on it, I don't think. And it's actually a little fast. Ah, damn it. Maybe it's just spin. It's actually probably easier for me to spin. Oh, no, I played Link to the Past. I know that's not a safe one. I fucking love Agnium 1. Woo, baby! Wait, a spin doesn't count? Oh, that's dumb. I have to play Danger Volleyball with the stupid sisters. The damn, I'm bad at it. Nope. Ow. Yeah! No, they both use the dual screens. Like, like I said, these games exist to justify the DS being the gimmick console it is, and this is a pretty good job at it. Oh, it only bounced once that time, huh? Which I wish, I kind of wish I could have a better stream layout here to properly show, like, one screen on top of each other, but, like, this is kind of what everyone does on Twitch for DS layout, for good reason. And it'd be, like, way too much effort to just go, okay, now you're going to see it the normal way. Don't fuck off! Volleyball match. Oh god, don't remind me of that shit. That was fucking weird. That was the part of the show that cemented me. He's like, oh, Dawn doesn't have a power or, like, a skill of any sort. His ability is me strong. You know what? I will have fun being wrong. And by wrong, I mean right. Because I'm right. Get owned, loser. Sleep. You would. It was kind of cool, yeah. In, like, a very visual spectacle kind of way. But it also just meant that, like, I don't know, I was just upset that it is at that point we basically accepted Gone has no, like, character. Other than, ooh, strong. You're not cool, you're not cool. No, 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 no. You sleep, you sleep, you sleep. Get out. I, I, okay, I disagree. Can we just back and forth here, please? Nothing fancy. There we go, thank you. Heal while I can. It's very nice of them to catch the ball. Like, move in to catch it. Rather than forcing me to aim in any way. They're good sports like that. You're a good gamer, gamer. We'd love to reward you, but we don't have any trophies. You can drag that Princess Tetra of yours with you. Goodbye! Cool. Thanks. Fun fact, to get out of Permahell, you just have to win a game of volleyball. Amazing! You beat those wicked volley girls in their own game. It took you a while, but you did it. Ah, oh, my jaw's locking up again. Yeah. Easy. Come to think of it, there's no been no pieces of heart in this game, have there? Maybe I'm being dumb, but I don't remember getting like a piece of heart at any point. Have I? No, there's like no pieces of heart. Oh, oh, and these keys are literally the key items that go here. Weird. They they have their own dedicated spot. Curling is based. Excel at Hunter Basics. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. It's just that's boring, in my opinion. Very much an IMO thing, but it's like they don't have anything like unique or soup like uh, interesting they do. They're just really cool and handsome and the best. 
It's like Jotaro. What does Jotaro stand do? Punch is good. Oh, and then sometimes it just it just does what it needs to do for the plot. Not Disney or nothing. I I, I get why it's fun. It's why I watched a bunch of Hunter X Hunter myself, but it just upset me when they came to the point in the show where it's like, we're gonna introduce stands. Our characters now have stands. Except not really. Is that Tetra? No, that's a stone. What are we gonna do? She's a statue. I can't work with that. Oh, hey. Sorry I'm late. Oh, wow. You traversed through this whole fucking thing? Good job. The fog just disappeared, so I charged in to find you. So about that treasure, you got piles of it, right? My queen. <laughs> it's cased in stone. Yeah, yeah. I can't even say that. Chris's friend is in trouble. I think about his treasure. I, he literally just walked in. Oh, this is your French. So he literally didn't even know what was up yet. Nope, nope. Something isn't right with this girl. Hmm. Maybe if I start rubbing her face, she'll react. Her soul didn't get sucked away, did it? This evil ship drained away her life force, Grandpa. Yeah, okay, thought so. What are you doing here? If you have come this far, Sink, the power of the hero is with you. Well, we kind of knew that one. Now is the time for me to tell the rest of the story on the ghost ship. Oh, clever boy, you may already know this. You see, these seas are my domain. I am not Oceus. I am Ocean. Uh! I was savagely attacked by an unfathomable evil. It made me old and gave me a stupid name. And of course, it had many eyeballs. Bellum. Based Zelda game that doesn't directly have Zelda or a uh, Ganon in it. Those are the best ones. So you know every creature in this world possesses a sacred power? I, I didn't know that. This power is called Life Force. It's called Living. The Sand of Hours is a physical manifestation of that power. That is what brought them here. What, they try to eat the sand to gain power? Delicious, delicious sand. I struggled against my attacker in a great spin. We both went into the washer and went into spin cycle mode. His evil was so dark it drained my life force. He was always a step ahead of my attacks. And I was eventually overcome. I looked over your comment for a second, Kai, and I see it started with the word actually, so I'll get to that in a second. It's dragged to the sunless depths of the sea. Sealed up, my life force continues to drain away. Exactly, Alu. That's what I like about Star Platinum. Didn't have a special power, only find out it's the same stand as the world. That, the. And I feel like I don't need to comment on why most people didn't like that, but fair enough. Spirits of power and wisdom were also imprisoned. Sila managed to split her soul and escape. You, you can do that, cool. The split was why so much of her memory was lost. Memory is stored in the brain, not the brain, is stored in the soul. Even Among Us, the monster born of the Sand of Hours, some are especially evil. They kick puppies! Phantoms who roam my temple take after the evil of their master. Supernatural strength. Wrapped in plate armor. Virtually invincible. Fat cock. They prowl the temples searching for victims. They were created to be untouchable. That's a king mentality, Kaya. I can respect that. Oh, it's nice of him to have brought these pictures with him. I had only one uh, option to use the stone and use my last ounce of strength. I cloned myself. I made a humble home on Murky Island. Why not just make a million clone of yourselves and then, like, fight back with ninjutsu? I studied my foes, searching for ways to defeat Bellum, and waited for my chance. I'm sorry I could not tell you sooner. I worried about the spirits of power and wisdom. I never expected to find you on the beach. You'd lost your memory, monsters were nearby. I thought best to keep quiet until the time came. How long has it been that this ghost has been stealing people and murderizing them? Oh, I love this shit. The Seas Islands are rich with life force. I fucking love Lineback. Look at him. Look at the swagger and just lack of care. <laughs> the evil things must have appeared to devour that. He's thinking about it. No, he's, he's worried about it. 
Exactly, Kaya, except I'm correct. They just want to fill their empty bellies. They hunger for life force. <laughs> just has to fiddle, trying to fiddle with her to put her back. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The ghost ship was made to drain that life force. Yeah, no, like, him and Midna are in tight contention for best side character. They used a story of treasure to lure people in. It wasn't enough for Bellum to steal my life force. Zelda in Spirit Tracks might also be up there, but I don't remember exactly. We'll have to see. He had to take what little he could uh, could from the people. <laughs> it's white for face. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I did it. He like, so fucking looks directly at the camera. Oh my god. Tetra must have had a bold, vibrant soul. The ghost ship was drawn to that power. She didn't find it, it found her. Her soul was really cool. So sexy, too. <gasps> they touch hands. <gasps> Wait, no treasure? Yeah, same. That's what I'm saying. Bye, lineback. From what I can sense, Tetra is still alive. Defeat that monster before my life force is depleted. I must get the Sand of Hours back. With it, I can return Tetra's life force and restore her. Yo, I love Minish Cap. This is an island north of the Isle of Gust. Go there and find Zao's. Yeah, Zao's time. He'll tell you about a uh, great evil who knows how to slay Bellum. Some kind of sick joke, old man. I've seen stuff and she's good in that game. Fair enough, yeah, no, the, the train mechanics were definitely what made what made that game uh, controversial. And I can understand people not enjoying it that much, but the character writing in it's so good. Same with this game. Treasure, what about the treasure? That was the only reason I put my life on the line. Lineback would fit in really well with that uh, Russian animation of Treasure Island. I thought about emulating this, but I didn't know how it was going to go. Uh, this has actually been really surprisingly comfortable to play mouse and keyboard. Like, I, I think I told you my setup before, but I have every button, uh, based around WASD and I can reach them all comfortably. Then I just have my right hand on the mouse. It works surprisingly well. Uh, it's not perfect. Some things are a little more difficult than they need to be, but it overall works just, like, despite the fact the game is 99% touchscreen. Excuse me. No, don't quit, don't quit. Didn't even listen to his story. You're a man of the sea. You want to help the Ocean King? No, and you can't use my ship. Have I beat this as a kid? I did, yeah, but I... It's been a long time. <laughs> no, no, I would never ask you to do this for free. Dun -dun. Do you help us defeat Bellum? I will grant you one wish. What do you say to that? Quit standing around, kid! The Ocean King is in trouble! Ship out, kid! Anchors away, I said, move it! My fucking hero. The blow on the screen? There is a specific... There's actually multiple settings for, uh... Audio in this, where... You can, uh... Either have it listen to your actual microphone... Play a pre-made blow noise when you hold down a hotkey, or put in your own WAV file to, uh, use. So, like, the, the pre-made blow noise, I literally just have it bound to the V key, hold it down, and it works just fine. Which, I, it took me a while to find. I spent, like, an hour trying to find that, uh, it, which is literally just a tick box right next to everything else, so I was dumb. Spectrobes playthrough? Based, eventually. So he the thirst of the thing. So he the thirst of the evil. One word about a wish and he leaped to action. Yeah, who wouldn't? I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have involved you in Tetra and all this. With your power, you can defeat Bellum. My real body is sealed away deep in the temple. Bellum should be there too. Normally I'd be fighting this battle myself, but you are our only hope. We're counting on you, Sink Smile. No, fuck no. Spectrobes is cool as shit. Spectrobes was just like alien edgy version of, uh, of, uh, Fossil Fighters. Fossil Fighters was a reasonably popular game, right? So it's just Fossil Fighters was slightly different and there was like a big titty, uh, side character who always freaked me out because she had, her titties were like 
divided and they went like this. So there was like metal plating that did like a hard V, like they were just getting fucking smashed to the side. I don't know why, that weirded me out. Alright, Sink. We've got to get out of here. This is no time to sit around with your mouth hanging open. I, I'm having a hard time closing it because of jaw issues, you bitch. The old man said that Zal's the blacksmith holds the clue we're looking for. We have to find that blacksmith to defeat Bellum. And then... The treasure will be in my hands. Ah, ah, ah. Arr, 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 arr. What's with you? We really need to take this guy with us? Shut the fuck up. He's the one with the ship. Ahem. Anyway, let's get going. Smile. Sounds losing the island to the north. Yeah, we just said that. Ship out, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, is wait, the fog clears up here, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, which island is it? Yeah, Zows. Zows. Oh, fuck me, dumb bitch is here too. Oh. You stay all the way down there, miss, and we have no problem. I would actually kind of like to visit Beetle, because I'm guessing 999, uh... Is it Max? Yes, it does. There is actually a hotkey you can set to, uh, close lid, because that is needed in this game. No, I think this game's fantastic. I don't know if it's the best Zelda game. But it's really good. It, it's some of the best writing and, like, presentation in a Zelda game. Next to Wind Waker. As for gameplay and, like, everything else, it's definitely uh, a couple steps below. Just with all the fucking cutscenes. It's a letter from Jolene. Should be juicy. Hello, I wish to murder you to my babysitter, Joanne. Baby sister, Joanne. Many years have passed since we've seen each other. Are you well? I'm sure that you've endured heartache at the hands of some awful man. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. As you can tell, I'm just as feisty as ever. You're the only sister I have in this world. We should really catch up. I have to ask, are you, um, you know, you still have that weird mermaid costume obsession? I think it's fine to dress up as a mermaid and have a little fun now and then, but don't wind up in some old fisherman's net. She Pirate Jolene. This is a direct reference for what you need to do on side quest. Okay. Wicked. That puzzle stumped my can mind for an hour. Yeah. No, I did the I did the exact same thing, Trick. I did the exact same thing. Was I got stumped on it? I closed my DS to walk away and do some. Came back. Do 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 like. I went. Oh. It, it was a very much of a brain blast moment. Quite enjoyed. I'm Bob Opinion, but I don't really like Zelda games. I think the gameplay is really boring. I have poo poo gamer brain. Yeah, that's poo poo gamer brain. I don't know. I don't like all the Zelda games, at least not anymore. I, I like them all as a kid, but anymore, I, as some of them I don't like, but they're very good. Some of them are very good. Seems like that wasn't for you after all. Uh, well, Chocolate of Fate, do me a favor. Deliver that to Joanne, would you? Okay. Might be happy if you delivered it to her. On the collection screen? Good way for people to meet and greet you. Okay, bye. Interesting. Hyper specific slots that have icons just to denote like what they are going to hold in the future. Love to see it. Yeah, I've said it before. This game takes advantage of literally every single mechanic that the DS could pull off. It's great. Hello. I knew you'd be visiting soon. Zao, so do you know Grandpa? How do you know him? You see, for generations our ancestors lived to serve the Ocean King, and they defended the Ocean King in an age when great evil lurked in the sea. My people forged their own weapons and fought in epic battles. Eben, you seek one of those great weapons? The Phantom Sword, yeah. If you don't like a good number of games. Yeah, exactly. Get in disguise. <laughs> yeah, with eyebrows like that, I can kind of see it. Except in the last game, we kind of stabbed him in the forehead and buried him at the bottom of the ocean, so who knows. We need that sword to defeat Bellum, like Grandpa told us. That's right. Bellum has the power to drink the life force from you. Only the Phantom Sword can slay him. Now you must find the Phantom Sword and defeat him. Okay, let's go. So, will you let us borrow that Phantom Sword? 
He just said find it. I no longer have it. What? You don't? No, I, I do not. You gotta be kidding. Why tell us how we should defeat Bill and when it's impossible? Stop bitching. Don't jump to conclusions. I am Zao's the blacksmith. It's not relevant. I, I just wanted to introduce myself. I may not have one now, but I can make the magical sword that can defeat ultimate evil. Again! Oh, okay. What are you waiting for? Do it! Do it! Do it! I can't. You can't? What do you mean? God, what a bitchy fairy. Phantom Sword is no ordinary sword, and forged normal metals can never handle that kind of sacred power. Aquanine, Azerine. Oh, yeah, it's like the next few dungeons are just getting the metals you need, I think. Those are the pure metals must be forged together to create the Phantom Sword. Let's go find those three pure metals. Long ago, the Ocean King gifted the pure metals to three tribes in this world. Three tribes must have passed these treasures down over generations. Visit those tribes, and they should be able to tell you the location of the metals. Three tribes, where are we supposed to go? We traveled a lot, but we've never met someone who would have a pure metal. But, like you would know from just looking at them. Each one has its own unique shtick, and it's really cool. Yeah, that's what I've always enjoyed about Zelda, is that... Like, Nintendo's signature thing is just they're not afraid to fuck around and find out. They're not afraid to just do different things for the sake of. They're really good at giving you what you didn't know you wanted. And Zelda, I think, is like the epitome of that. Let's go in search of sea charts. You'll need more sea charts in addition to the ones you already have. Enter the Temple Ocean King, get the next sea chart. We already got the bottom. There weren't any other paths we could take. There was a door you could open by drawing a symbol, was there not? <gasps> if you draw this symbol on that door, another way should open. You know, that door had such an amazing secret. Okay. I don't hate Breath of the Wild, but I'm definitely not it, the, the stoutest defender, yeah. Uh, so I, I sympathize. I don't know what it actually wants me to do here, but I assume it just wants me to, like, either make a triangle or, like, make a full Triforce. Either that or just that. I don't know. We'll just do that for now. Like, I'm not a big fan of Link to the Past for its core gameplay loop in combat, but... I more than appreciate what it did for the series and how it, uh, innovated. No, not blow him. Letter from the old Wayfarer, ahem. Who? Have you found yourself on the path of Wayfaring, Sing? Don't forget, if you haven't, you may already be on the way and not know it. Finding your way isn't like discovering a pebble, watching your toilet, your Wayfarer can travel the whole world and never find just one way. Oh, it's this guy, but I did just want to give you something unusual that I found in my own travels. Mate, servers are a reminder you can find enough gift time. Huh? I literally already have- There are so many fucking shit parts and you give me a duplicate. I only have this one. I will not press V. Go to the shipyard, customize- Yeah, okay. Yeah. Literally the only other shit part I have. Cool. A sword? Pure mail? Why is it that every time we find off only until the end, but only because of how desperate you are, then you'll beat that poem, got it? Whatever you say, king. Yeah, yeah. I like that they, like, very just... They, they stand close to each other and they look at each other as the ship takes off. Hey. Okay. Uh... Uncharted. Yeah, there's not that much else I can do here right now. I'd like to visit Beeble if I can. But I'm worried that dumb bitch is going to run into me. Yeah, oh no, I know. Back in the day, I had like the full gold set from doing multiplayer stuff and trading. She's gonna see me now. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Be gone, slut. Be gone, slut. Be gone, slut. No. Yeah, of course set. Let's go, I agree. Go away. Poor be gone. Shit. Uh, keep going. Good. Fuck, I... 
couldn't tell the distance. Okay, you know what? If we let her get closer, I can maybe sink her at least. Assuming I don't get hit again. Can I please aim a little closer? Fuck! Okay, well. Uh, I might just want to let her catch me. Fuck it. I don't, don't want to actually... Okay, very funny. I have no idea what a Nintendo speedrun would look like. But, uh, yeah, sure, I can't wait to show you mine. What, what would you even do as an end goal? Like, I think there's medals you can earn for competitions or some shit, right? Shit, let's take a look at that. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to tab out for too long without pausing. That's right. Never mind. Wait. An enemy ship? What, what am I looking at there? Oh! Funny frog, funny frog, funny frog. Hold on, stop. Ah, uh, there he goes. Shame. Alright. Wait. Oh, those are pirates. Arbitrary code execution. Given enough time and enough willpower... Any Nintendo game can be forced to do, uh, Ace. This- thus is the law of Nintendo's, uh, speedrunning and tasses. She's gonna see me again. Okay, great. Oh, I fucking hate this bitch! Talk to the dogs using the mic. Yeah, exactly. I kinda doubt speedruns would be legal on, uh emulator anyways, so not surprising. Does she actually fuck off if I hit her enough? God damn it, are you kidding me? Why are those so annoyingly hard to dodge? How many times does I fucking bomb your ship? Yeah, okay. Maybe if I board beetle ship, she'll leave me alone because she's just scared of beetle. Ooh. Okay, we actually have some good options here. What is this? Ship part. Okay. Uh, I don't care. Uh, it varies from game to game. A vast majority of the time, console games generally prefer that you do not use emulator. It depends on the game and it depends on the console. Uh, like Sonic Heroes, I play on emulator for speedrun. DS games? No, probably not. Most cases, people run on Wii U Virtual Console. A thousand! Ooh, okay. I think Beetle's a nice guy. I just wish he didn't do all his crimes and, like, he didn't show his nipples off so much. Uh, I'd rather save for the bomb bag. Oh, well. Really wish there was a good one. I, what would uh, Nintendogs Let's Play even look like? You'd probably just want to find, like, a long play. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. She's still there. She's still there. J j just get this over with, Sly. Yeah, a little bit. Him in Skyward Sword is actually uh, a bit more intimidating because he's just like constantly biking to power his ship. So he's got to be fucking ripped and he has some amazing glutes. Any chance you might tell me we're Uh, fight that takes too long. Alright, two. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, you need three hits and then, then we're done. Cool. I don't know if it's money laundering when he's actually giving you goods, but could be. Ah. Okay, thank you for wasting my time. And then Lineback is going to give me, like, five rupees, which will be very cool, and I need some health. I should steal her sword. Maybe then she wouldn't be able to, like, kill me. I'm going to throw this at Tetra. Fuck you, Tetra. Hi. She knows how to imitate a pirate. Professional crate inspector. Kind of catchy, don't... You know, yeah, you could do a good job of that. No, give me a red one this time. It's slightly better. Yeah, uh, you should be happy you don't remember her, because I remember her. 
I have two distinctly negative memories about this game. One of them was that puzzle we had to deal with. The other is fucking her. Just, hey, are you trying to get somewhere? Yeah, get back here! Literal no fun allowed. Fuck that stupid bitch. I want to see if this guy I could do uh, his next part. Just check with him real quick. Hey, what's up? Uh, how are you? Want me to train? Sure. I think I forgot about her briefly until I started playing this. Like, oh right, oh she's a fucking menace. Test your skills. How much you improved? Does he even like strike back? Oh, that's it. Ha ha ha! All right, I think that's it. Oh. Oh, only one. Wait. What? Did I? Was I supposed to do something else? Or is it? Is it literally that's the most I can do? Six hits. What? How do I get more hits? Do I have to just like back him in a corner and consistently hit him? But like he, I he only he like broke. It wasn't me fucking up. That was him. Let's try it again. God, I fucking miss Picto Chat, dude. Hmm. Okay, now it's actually working. I don't know, like, why he was getting hit, and that apparently counted as, like, yeah, wait, what? Why does it, like, go, oh, you are done when... I guess, like, that you have to do it more and more to, like, make him sm stronger? I don't know. He challenged you to duel in order to receive your mail. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Oh, these uh, Zelda streams have just been, like, a bit of a nostalgia trip for me, man. It's been so much fun. Two-thirds of a hero. Can I just, like, back in and out of this multiple times to redo it? Because apparently I can't redo it by just talking to him again. D literally, he said to hit him. It's not my fault he suddenly put his guard down. Can I, like, bait these birds out early? Oh, no, they just fuck off. I thought they were going to attack me. All right. That's why I started, like, getting dodgy. I think you have to get to, like, 99 or 100 hits or something. Oh yeah, now you have like a set amount of uh, damage you can take. Come on. Which is admittedly very easy to do with a mouse. Ow, shit, okay, and I should probably close my fucking mouth. I guess you just have to do it so many times before, like, the actual minigame becomes a thing. Fuck, really? Okay, I got stuck. I don't like fighting him in this corner, either. Nope, we're fine. Nope. Come on. If I just, like, attack slowly, does he never counter? Oh, shit. Fuck! Oh, come on! It's close. Yeah, 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 jackass. Th that's what I was trying to do. Can I, can I go again? Can we go again? Oh, thank you. Okay, good. Oh, fine. Oh. Yeah, I think it's literally just, like, a counter punish mechanic for getting overzealous so as long as i like don't miss i can kind of have a rhythm where i just don't spam him and he never counter attacks it seems like sometimes he'll do like a little push but that's about it and i can kind of get back in by just clicking him Yeah. 
Yeah. No, he can't do fucking anything here. I'm not even, like, doing- Oh, okay, so that was too many hits right there, but I'm not even trying to do anything hyper-specific here. I'm just going, like, three or four hits. Then I stop for half a second. In which time he either knocks me back... Or I, uh, or just does nothing. And, like, yeah, now I win. That easy. Don't hold my hand! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, 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 don't hold my hand! No, no, I don't consent! No, no! Alright, I don't know if, like, a hundred's the maximum you need, or what. Like, does it get better the farther I go? I'm gonna just try, like, spamming the fuck out of him and seeing if I can dodge decently. Nine, 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 no balls? True. Easy nine, nine, nine. Incoming. Especially when he's not actually, like, trying to counter me or anything. He's just pushing me. Yeah, I just keep left clicking here. Oh, this is like fucking cookie clicker now. God damn it. Oh, uh, this is gonna give me arthritis. But it'll be worth it, because it'll be cool. I might just the quality. Don't tempt me. Yeah, let's get it like a stack uh, overflow. I was so absolutely goaded at fighting this guy, and I just <laughs> pushed him off his own ship. Oh, you know, he actually can't get really anywhere if you just push him into here, huh? I kind of don't want to do this all day, so I'm, I'm fine dying at uh, trips. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to call it trips. There we go. Cool. Unbelievable. Utter madness. I can't take it. Take this. Woo! Yeah, I guess there's no pieces of heart in this game. It's a gift and honor of the sweat and tears you shed in battle. Nothing big, but might come in handy. Alright, cool. Checked and wrecked. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't take it, he offered it consensually. Oh right, I forgot I could have just teleported. Oopsies. Let's grab some money while we're here. Oh, same side hand holding. Oh uh. disgusting. What's the pink shit up there? I don't remember what that's supposed to be. Do salvage. Hell yeah, mini game time, baby. Real chads grab the money. We're going for big money, baby, all the way. Grab it so I don't have to grab it on the way back up. Yo, big rupee. Oh, that's not even like hard to grab. Cool. Free hundo. I like that we're doing this while our engine is on fire, too. No, take your time. Now nah, get on the way back up. Red rupee. Good. And we're good. All right. Katsu. Now imagine if you did fishing like this. Drop all the way down to the bottom of the ocean to pick up... Like an angler fish. Ah, I guess I miss on that one rupee, don't I? No, no. Ah, oh, I thought I could maybe catch it with the thing. Oh, well. Sad. Well, that was nearly a perfect game. Do be that way sometimes. Not quite a skill issue on my part, though. It was merely the game not allowing me to show my skill properly. No. Sometimes you gotta take the L and just blame it on the game, you know? Shoot, we need the money. <laughs> we need the money to set our engine back on fire. Oh! Cool, okay. Didn't know that was the thing you could even get. Neat. 
not, uh, not the best. Not exactly what I was hoping for. By the way, nine. We're still on nine. Ah, I want to actually upgrade the fairies because I want to see what they give me. I assume it's just stat bonuses, but I want to see it. Oh, ooh, that was a gross pop for my elbows. Bad bird. Stinky bird. What? <laughs> okay, we had to go past the port there. A more fucking mail, really? Holy shit, it just does not stop coming. You could, like, pack this into all in one. Salvatore. Him, here's what he says. Who is Salvatore? No doubt you're waiting for a note from me, the master of diversions. So come by again? I mean, if you want. Wait. Oh, 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 it's the can guy. Well, I got better things to you. I'll be waiting. Where else am I going to go? I'll be the guy's turn. Huh? I don't think he even has any more rewards. Oh, he just gives you a wisdom gem. Okay, cool. Not sure why, but fair. All right, later, loser. Back to the ground, wait, back to the rules and I hit the ground run and I... Uh, quiver upgrade. How much? I actually probably would prefer that. Yeah, that's expensive as hell, but nah, I think that'd be very nice. Man, I need to get back. I need to remember to actually do some Python learning here and there. What? You again? What do you want? So I, w I would love to, like, just see how feasible a rando would be for this. Thought you were going to walk right by. I got a little too excited anyway. Have you heard about the Chief of the Frogs? Yes. Yeah, bye. Yeah, in public, too, just in front of everybody. Slightly awkward. Slightly. Could be worse, but could be better. Uh huh? Hey. hey, another earthquake coming from the temple. Bella must be causing the earthquake. Let's get that C char ura. sure there comes a point where you get like some teleports shortcut through the dungeon but I could be wrong maybe the shortcut is just you have items that let you go from one room to another in like a couple seconds yeah mail yourself some uh ERP uh of the postman oh geez oh fuck hey don't step out into the curse of that one is red <laughs> You are red now, that's my attack. It looks more powerful than the ones we had to face before. A swift phantom! Oh, okay, they run fast, cool. Oh, so they probably outrun me, cool. <laughs> you know, they are fast, it doesn't matter as long as they don't see you, right? Be extra sneaky. I want to kind of see how fast exactly they are. I'm going to get spotted, just for funsies here. that much faster. Oh, that's barely even a difference. The fuck? Get on, loser. Barely even a difference. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. Do they hear that? Eh, they do. It's probably too far away. It feels like there it could have been some more like perma progression in here rather than resetting it every time, but I guess the introduction of items giving you shortcuts is kind of fun. Uh, it's from your ex-wife. Pay your child support, you deadbeat piece of shit. Yeah, pay your child support. By the way, uh, this is gonna charge. Th this is gonna charge you. Sorry about that. Oh wait, right. I can just uh, ba da ba. Did you hear that? 
No, he doesn't fall. Bad about. Oh, wait. It's no... Hmm. Weird. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember. What actually closes the... Oh, fuck off. Oh, I like that the, the red guy has to go all the way around. Funny. Yeah, get on, loser. Oh, that drops the key. Right. Okay, I forgot the puzzle. Bye. Ah, shit. Hold on, we are playing with fire here. By turning the fire off. No, as a kid, these things were terrifying. Yeah. This was like Babby's first stealth game, and it really taught you the consequences of like, wow. Hey, did you get caught? Okay, it was nice knowing you. Just like the absolute fear that it Im imbibed. I... I'm right there with you, but, uh, as an adult, it's just very funny to come back and be like, ah, don't care, don't care. Especially after I've just long since stopped being scared of any sort of stealth game or horror game. Can I blow this up? I can, but it has the, it needs, like, the rat thing. I forget what it is you get that, like, goes through those small holes. I think it's literally, like, a wind-up remote control rat or something. I might be wrong. That's what made it fun. That's what made this part so memorable. I have never in my childhood been that spooked by, like, what's otherwise a kid-friendly game that constantly left me on edge. It was great. That's the kind of spook I like. Do, 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 do. Let me quickly swap to you. Do, 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 do. Actually, wait, what's with the, the bombable stuff right up there? So I've, I've gone what's on this platform over here already. Oh, it's just time. Okay, okay. Uh, I need you. Alright, well, you tried. There was an attempt. There was a brief attempt. Very cool. Oh, come to think of it, for, again, I this is like a completely hypothetical rando in my head, but in the case of like a rando, how would you deal with these rooms where the chests refill? I guess these chests would just consist, either consistently be the force gems, or you would have the puzzle be a one and done in like, if possible, you just have it be like, okay, did you get it once? Did you, like, raise a flag that says the door opens? Okay, that flag stays open. As if I know anything about programming. I just like thinking about the logic of that stuff. It's always fun thinking of, like, how could you mod this to, to play it differently? Because people get really caught up on, like, oh, well... This base mechanic doesn't work. It's like, well, you see, that's the fun part about modding, is in theory you can just change that shit. Missed the question? Uh, I, I'm, 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 like, running over in my head the idea of a hypothetical randomizer for this game. Just because I've been so into randomizers lately. Like, how would you deal with the three chests on this floor that consistently refill? The answer is you probably just make this puzzle here, like, not something you have to redo. Wait, could I... Could I have skipped it? Let, let me check this. Is this, like... No, no, okay. I don't know what's with that little alcove there, then. Keep thinking that it's like, oh, can I dig there to shoot up a gust of wind? Eh, probably not. That would have saved me some time. Uh, that's where we saw to you. Oh, wait, actually. What does this do? That just turns all of them off. Neat. Okay. Um. Is there anything, like, over here I can use? Not really. 
then I need to bomb this, which should be out of range of anybody to hear it. Good. This should be out of hearing range. Good. We need to take the lower door. Uh, part of me wants, wanted to try to book it past him, but I know it's not a good idea. I don't think he could get in here, so this would act as a safe spot, but why risk it? It's honestly like, in a randomizer, I feel like this dungeon would make for one of the most interesting progression points. If the items you need to progress, like keys being localized or something, like an ocarina and Wind Waker rando. That could be interesting, uh, or like the Triforce Shards, even. Right, there's you as well here, which just lowers that. Oh yeah, this was like a series of combat rooms. Do I have to do these again? Not what I needed, but okay. Yeah, okay, we do. Shame. But we got a bow now, so that makes this a little easier. If I can aim. If I can aim. Well, I can aim. Sometimes. Sometimes. Easy. First try. Yo, 30 extra second. Probably might be worth it. I don't know. No, 15 extra seconds, and I've used like eight of those seconds, more like five or six of those seconds, just walking there and back. Woo! Oh, come on. Don't like curl in on yourself like that. I do like the once you smack these guys once, it's very easy just to hit them two more times. There's literally nothing stopping you. They basically expose themselves at that point. Expose themselves live on stream. Yeah, I'm not falling for your tricks again. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. What's this? Wait, did I not get this before? Wait, is that a repeatable big green rupee? The fuck? Cool, I guess. Um, why not? Is there something I can use to turn this off? No, that's just like a one way. I have to come from the other side. And I assume I just have to repeat this puzzle. And the first step of repeating this puzzle is, uh, killing this thing. What? Finally you're at the crested door? Uh-huh. Oh, wait, can I skip and just go straight there? Oh, wait, right, no, you don't have to do things at the shrine, you just have to put in the code. By code, I, I mean an hourglass. Yeah, you didn't see nothing. Do, 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 do. Modify variables in memory or modify the values of the game itself. A mix of both likely. Anything advances like a new feature would likely be external code that executes when conditions are met for the details. Of yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's probably true. I don't know. I, I don't know if like DS modding has any sort of scene where it's like, hey, what a fug. Sacred Crest against the seed chart to transfer it. Oh, 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 right. No, this is a different room. Right. So I need to, like, come back out here. Hey. Okay. And on this, I need to... Draw just the Triforce? Oh, sh shit. I, I missed a part. Hold on. Is that good? Shit, do, do I need to draw a triangle? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I might I might have had a bit of an oopsie. By the time I came to the, the one, I would have realized, oh wait, no, right, that's not what it means. Um...
Like that? Does that work? Hey, okay, you just have to find the right way to do it. Cool. Easy peasy. But then the door suddenly takes you elsewhere. Cool. Hey. The room looks different. Maybe we went to another place when we used the crest Zazu showed us. Like, as if Link wouldn't... The, the crest! Yeah, Link doesn't know what that crest is at all. Uh, it's my turn now. This is the door of courage. Come on, get your courage up and tap that. What? Yes, I would like to talk to it. Hello. Dark terrors lurk ahead. I'll share something with you that will help you survive. Okay. Oh, is that a new shortcut? Step in the yellow light to save your journey time and return to the entrance. Step in the yellow light at the temple entrance to return here instantly. This is a midway point. Yes. Give it a try. Let me, uh... No, there's no chest there. Okay, sure. It took you this long to reach this room, 309. Want to return to the entrance of the temple? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Then... Okay, so it, it... I guess, like, when you get to a certain point... You could just leave with that instead of, like, leaving with one of the blue lilies. Like, you might have to backtrack a little bit, but it could save you time later on. But then, you, like, you're running the, the hourglass more, so... Eventually, that's going to become less and less viable. As if, you know, 11, 12 minutes wasn't enough time. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, a bunch of moving platforms. Let me just watch their paths real quick to see where I need to go. Got three different sets of stairs down. Bastard! Give me that. Whew. And take a look over here. Treasure. Which I can get to from the other side. What? Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, these are loud floors. The floor makes a sound when you run on it. Phantoms, they'll hear us. The floor didn't make a sound when you walked. I, I haven't walked yet, but okay. You have to walk slowly on these floors when there's a phantom nearby. Hello. Or just don't walk on those floors. Do, 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 do. What's that? He can hear me? Wonderful. We can meet each other sooner. Just checking real quick. Is there anything over here? A loud floor on my right. Nothing over there. Is that guy just walk left and right? No, he also turns up. Okay, so. Circle. Ah, uh, hey, buddy, come here. I like that they go, stop right there! Hey, you! Like, it's, like, it's, uh, just Metal Gear. They're actual guards or something. No way. Yeah, I'm going to respond to a verbal command from a walking suit of armor. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want? I found the O pedestal. Uh-huh. Where's the O crystal? I should have made a note to remind myself. Is there an O crystal in this dungeon? I don't remember there being one here. Exactly. I'm the real predator. Gnome predator. Bye. Wait. Did one oh, the fast one teleported somewhere else. Interesting. Phantoms walk on air? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I forget where it is, though. You, you kind of have to watch him, I think. Can I, like, pull the map down and watch at the same time? No, they, they pause the game, right? Is that just straight away? Okay. Put that there, generally. Come in. Just 
just so we don't have to deal with you. Cool. Oh yeah, you can even see it from that side. Uh, obvious stairs down. Let's just take a look around real quick. I walked on invisible floor and got this far, an invisible floor, then I got trapped in a pit. Damn, that sucks, dude. It almost looks like it should be bombable, but I doubt it. Are you gonna come this way? Yeah. Uh, come here. Hurry this up. Uh, I honestly love just being spotted just to speed them up. Very funny. Uh, well, I don't have the thing that you need to go in there, but... Oh, well. Ooh. Is he gonna walk down here? I might have made a bad move. I might have made an oopsie fucking whoopsie. Oh, I was hoping I could run past him. Ouchie. Oh, yeah. They they one-shot you back to the start of the room, and they steal your time. That's right. Yeah, no, fuck you, Scooby-Doo ghost. I ain't leaving. I, I want to be here. This place looks cool. Your haunted mansion seems really fun. I want to hang out here. So can I just stand there? Yeah, I just stand there and looks around. I don't know what the hearing range is. I don't attempt fate, though. Oh, speaking of. Okay, the hearing range is not far. That much is for certain. Is that on the timer? Oh, boy, it is. Okay. What do you have to say? Hello. Use that device, you have to take aim at the phantom from behind. If they are invincible... Yeah, no, I, I got that from the ghost ship, but thanks. I was kind of hoping the red one would see me. Just start running into the void. I can't wait till we can actually kill these fuckers. It's so satisfying running through the whole dungeon again, and just killing them with a backstab. Whoop! I don't think I could jump that. Eh, let's wait on it, okay. Where do you go? So I know where this thing needs to go. Can I even run? Oh, no, okay, so when you're carrying something, you can't even run uh, fast enough to trigger the sound. Oh, if only keys worked between floors. Truly a conundrum. Actually, hold on a second. Can I just throw a bomb up at that thing? Ah, uh, no shame. I would that or I need to be further back. Um, hmm. Actually, this is non-desirable. Just thought about that. Uh, can I, like, stay right here without the blue guy seeing me? Red should just walk right past without noticing me. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, well... It was valuable. It was a valiant effort, fucked. D does the crystal stay there at least? Okay, it does, good. Oh, then fucking Pinky's on his way back, God damn it! That's such an awful pattern. Enjoy a good game? Hey, I will. It's good seeing you, Trick. Take care, buddy. Now slightly more intimidated by these things, just knowing that like you can't really run past them. Basically Pac-Man, yeah. Backed into a corner, no way out. Bad game. Not Pac-Man World 2. It adds up. Really does. There we go. Huh. Okay, cool shortcut. Uh it doesn't look like there's much I can do from up here, question mark. Just gotta be careful, I don't wanna jump in front of the phantom. Oh, uh, no, I can't even jump across that? Okay. I guess that's just to, like, get out behind the phantom. Oh, that big boy's carrying a jewel. Come far, it'd be nice if this was the last floor, but let's keep going. Then don't worry about it. Alright, cool. Well. That makes things a little simpler. Uh, yeah, I know, hi. A pedestal. Wow, yeah, gee, thanks. 
Imagine taking notes to remember that shit. It simply could not be me. So there needs to be a square in there to keep that down. So I don't really need to come back this way. I guess in that case, I could move that square somewhere else if need be. Uh, which I will need to now that I think about it, but the triangle needs to go over to that top right corner. Tempted to shoot the red guy, but too lazy for now. Oh, wait, no. I thought the upper right guy would go a little farther down. Don't see me, don't see me. Okay, on the other hand. No, wrong button. Shit. Okay, you know what? Fine, never mind. Take care. You're doing good, bud. Proud of you. Some change in the air? Oh, funny. Very funny. Okay. Well, thankfully, we do have a, a sort of a way to test for that. Like, where the path actually is here. So it's not here. It's not there. It's not there. There it is. Oh, you kind of see this tile almost looks a little different. Okay, cool, not bad. And honestly, I can kind of just sit out here. Uh, well, uh, can I make it fast enough? Yes, all right. I'll use some of a bitch. Oh, wait, oh, thought it was going the other way. Whew. Yeah, whatever the range is of their hearing, it's really not as high as it should be. Um, I will need to go back for the square, almost certainly. I'm going to be preemptive on that. Six and a half minutes, so not really too worried. I think there's only a couple more floors. If not, like, the next one is basically the last. They're definitely a little more generous with the time than I feel like they should be, but... That's nah, just me being toxic elitist. That's just me being toxic elitist, shooting demons in the back. In the backstabber, what can I say? Spy is my least played class in TF2. Yeah, a bit of a backstabber. Bit of a trick stabber. Thank you, Cyclone. I like to think my titles are pretty good. I like to think the titles are 99% of what if, uh, what's drawing people into my stream. Hi, what do you want? Hey, you! Felt something behind me, but I turned around and nothing was there. Next thing I knew, the sand in the hourglass was powerless. Things talking about the phantoms or something else around here. Oh. Have good badge, Cyclone. Oh, Christ. Okay, um... Oh, do you just have to avoid these guys? Damn. I guess they don't respawn. It's really not that bad. Oh, yes, they do. Wait. Oh, this is a circle! That's not a square. Silly me. Oh well. Can we hear this? He will not. That is funny. Hello. The bells here are a set of three. Even you set a crystal, change floors, and they will fall out. Oh, you do need all of the shapes here. Okay. All right, three crystals on the pedestal. So I was right to bring that one down. Cool. I'm not sure if there's a way to kill these things. Not really that worried, but... Oh. Right, whatever. Just need to get around to this guy when he's... Preferably not on a noise floor. Fuck. Uh... Ah, shit. Can I outrun him? Yeah, quite handily. Oh, you can just get far enough ahead he loses you. Funny. 
should probably be trying to kill those things, but... Eh. Okay, I'm gonna leave you here. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, yeah, you have to, like, uh... Wait, hold on. Wait. Shit. Well, it's hard to do with these motherfuckers here. Oh, take my, take my, take my chance. There we go. Eat. Damn, go away! Stupid smelly birds. Fuck! I'm actually risking running out of time here. Ooh. I need to go back and grab the triangular. Fuck off! Can I, I can I even fight them? Okay, 15 seconds didn't seem like a lot before, but now it's seeming like seeming like a little bit. Alright, it's fine. Um don't have to deal with those pesky birds over here. Instead I just have to book it for the triangle. Not like that. Precision Control Gaming, that's my middle name. Wait for this shuffle fuck. Kill him. Murder him. Never let him have another day of life on this planet Earth. Then he wakes up and immediately goes the other way. Assume he just assumed he must have passed out. It was a skill issue on his part, surely. Ah, oh, that's why the wind's there, right? You know what? I didn't even really consider it, but I I walked into it anyways. Humongous brain place. All right, either way, that's all we should need here. Uh, I might look around at some of the other stuff just to see what it is. But if I start to run low on time, then I'll just say fuck it. Um, uh, speaking of fuck it. Okay, I wasn't sure where he'd start going. Ah, lag, lag. Huh? Cool puzzle here. I like, uh, the gems. I don't know why the gems are one of the most reoccurring gimmick- Oh, fuck off! Reoccurring gimmick mechanics in this game, but they're fun enough. Speedy night, my ass. See you later, loser. Yeah, try having object permanence next time, dork. You ever thought about that? And it's that simple. And it's that simple. Where does the square block go? That's right, in the square hole. Where does the triangle block go? That's right, in the square hole. Ah, oh, I guess the arrow doesn't travel that far, shame. Just like the on stream. Oh, you can hit them! Oh! I don't know if they stay perma-dead, but good to know. Huh, okay. I thought I was getting fucked over. Literal infants, yeah, basically. Uh, is this anything? Wait, can I bomb this wall? I might take a bit of an owie ouch, but I'll take that L. No. Okay, fair enough. Alright, well, I lost a shit ton of time due to a simple, uh, miscommunication error. I, I thought they were going intangible when they did that, not just, uh, invisible invisiblest. No, don't don't have me now. No, no. All part of my master plan. Entirely part. Oh, oh, that's a funny one. Okay, that's all that's there for. Yeah, sure, whatever. Virgin. A fair amount of bombs, true. All right. Well, that would have been funny to have sooner, but uh, no. Oh. Yep, and we're at a checkpoint. Set the crystal and the pedestals in this order. Square, circle, triangle. Going down the exit is this way. Interesting. So... I guess this gives us the chart, but we can continue going down if we want? 
Okay, huh. Square circle triangle. Neat. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite. The Frost Ring Island. Saturn. New sea chart. Now we can explore even more of the seas. Where do you want to go now? Want to try where that falling explorer mentioned? <gasps> eh, two minutes should be fine. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I start slowly draining health. Square hole. The circle hole. The triangle hole. Let me actually bait the bird over real quick. Just get a free 30 seconds at the cost of like five. Go oh, fuck off. Damn it. Okay, try that again. I actually kind of need that time. Here, stay like here ish. Nah, just wait for Big McLarge Huge to pass by. There we go, better. Oh! Well, don't mind if I do. May as well get some out of this shit. Fair enough, cool. You know, the, the wise thing to do is to murder with mucho prejudice. Kill, kill, kill. So can I actually continue? Feels like something moved outside. Was oh, this an elevator? It's like the whole floor sank down. Interesting, if they actually just let you continue, like, no obstructions, that'd be cool. But you probably, uh, need more of the progression items. Isn't the same place we came out last time? Tumble goes on, 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 floors are there in this place anyways? Friend. Friend. There are more phantoms that are not like any we've seen before. They have cooler looking armor, I guess. Just stay sneaky. Yeah, but what do they do? Hey, bitch. Do you do anything in particular? Ah, oh, that's right. You teleport to your friend. Directly on top of me. Extremely fucking funny. Okay. Wait! No, that's extremely fucking funny. No, 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 come back. No, move, move, Lardass, move! Yes! Wait. Ah, oh, no, the other one got away, shame. Hold on, I'm trying to bait the one with the key over here. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Where's Buddy? <laughs> He's a fucking gamer. You played yourself, buddy. I could use some arrows, but uh, wait. Can I play Indiana Jones with the, the phantoms? Oh my god, I can. Oh my god, I can. Cool. I don't know why, like... You need a magical power to kill these things. Literally a boulder works. Let me make sure he's actually gonna come back this way. Hold on. Uh, come here. Dude, dude. Oh, wait, no, I thought I could get up there, shame. I'm a, the jolliest gamer you ever done did see. Uh, actually don't know if there's anything else I can do here. Hello. Later. If I'd killed them both, that would've been very funny. It's like, I can't climb up this. No, I need the rope thing. Uh, what do you got to say? I realized because the phantoms around here are slow. I had no idea about what happened when they saw me. Uh-huh. Sorry, I'll thank you for your input. One, uh, one minute, ten seconds left. I should be fine. Is that sand? It sure is. I'll try it again. So. That's a bottom of a wall. And is there anything over here? No. 
which you're like, oh, wait, the, the phantoms aren't anywhere near here. But uh, yeah, these guys kind of ruined that plan a little bit. Is that timed? No, stays open. Uh, all right, let's over here. I gotta make use of every second I can here. Shit. Thank you. Ooh, I get more time here. See, now this is a challenge run. This is what we like to see. Uh... Okay, it's just kind of making me run back and forth to use up time, I guess. Providing little bits of time on the way, so it's not the worst. So actually, what the hell's over here, then? Do I care? Eh, not really. Probably something nice, but I have the key, which is almost certainly going to lead to the next floor. So we just bail. Neat. If you can actually get to the next chart just right away, that'd be sick. I I'm surprised they would just let you do that. Instead of forcing the normal progression. Pleasantly surprised. Uh, to do. Right. This is gonna be like a height map. Height dungeon, height floor. They don't see up, do they? Probably not. Step on the four switches atop the four platforms. Okay. Oh, I might not be able to do that with this one. Huh. Oh. Pretty obvious. Unless it's just like an emulation texture glitch. Alright, might just be an emulation texture glitch. Let's assume that. No, wrong button. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, hello, what do you have to say? It's no fun not being able to play using the control pad. <laughs> But I have one regret it's being so stubborn and saying such a thing. <laughs> Is that literally just there as a jab for people who are like, Why can't I play the control pad? Yeah, that's what a bitch would say, huh? Huh? That's extremely funny. Uh, hello, what do you do? Ah, uh, bridge the point. Alright. 30 seconds. Yeah, more like 40 seconds. Simple as. Uh, which way are you gonna turn? Alright, it's fine. Yeah, calm down. Alright, I assume they all say the same thing just because it's trying to get you to move. Oh, fuck, whoops. Oopsies. That's fine. New friends. Makes no sense that they have call-outs, but man, it makes them more intimidating. Love it. Oh, okay, you just have to open that bridge, cool. Do, do, do. I'm going to hold on to my arrows for now. Is there any time instead? He didn't hear that, did he? No, cool. All right, well, this just opens. Wait, is the way down already open? Weird. Does this say anything important? Why would it repeat itself over and over like that? Oh, fuck me. Nope. See you later. Hmm. Well, I guess I should just go ahead and finish the puzzle while I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stink is on me, I know. Uh, actually. Is there a lever to pull over here to extend the bridge? Shut up. I think even if I die, it doesn't really matter. Two B H. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it'll just send me back to the start of the dungeon, but I don't like lose any progress. Oh, you know, what? actually, that's not a bad move. Throw them over there like that. Funny. Oh, is that? Mm, I didn't realize that was so hard timed. Okay, that's a shame. Oh, it's one of those guys down. The 
keeps them busy for a moment. I also have two potions on me, so... Worst case scenario, I just pop those. Fuck! Really? Oh my god, Link. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, hello. There should be some pots with hearts in, like, the next rooms as well. And I swear, if this is just, like, some bonus you do for, uh... Like a heart container or something... I mean, that'd be convenient right now, but... Be a little upsetting. Oh, come on. What? Thank you. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> what happens if I have zero time? Nothing? Okay, nothing. Cool. Oh, I'm at one heart now. Ooh. Wait, timer. Duh. Mm. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to use my <laughs> use my potion. I just want to push my luck because I think this is funny. Shut the fuck up. Come on. I only have two arrows left, so I need to use one of them on this guy here. Then not jump off this time, please. Fucking thank you. And we're good? We're good, okay. Now, the question is, is this door somehow more or less desirable? Let's find out. What? Don't know why, but I've got this feeling. I feel like there's a clue up ahead. Oh, if you're actually going to just say, hey, the, the next, like, stopping point is very soon, I, I kind of appreciate that. Oh. What? What? Oh, I guess this is just like an alt path? Which gives you some extra items? Don't mind that, I suppose. Ah, oh, fuck off. Hold on. Damn it. I'm trying to kill the damn thing, come on. Oh, wait, 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 no, that's good, that's good, that's actually good. Hold on. I forgot my own strategy. Well, I still out in the open, I guess it doesn't really even fucking matter. Like, you're gonna turn your back here? No? Okay. Don't care. Why are these rooms so open? That's menacing. Oh, why am I breaking that? Are there gonna be traps here or what? Yeah, traps. Okay. Just a normal phantom. Uh, what's your pattern? You just look around? You just a looking guy? Down, right, up, left. Okay. Well, that's why there's a red pot. I'm gonna talk to the skeleton over here real quick, see what he's up to. Only a few phantoms, so I let my guard down. I should prepare to safe place in the beginning. Damn. I should have used the red pot. Skill issue. Oh, I guess I couldn't have even entered this floor from uh, the other staircase, huh? I just realized. No. Oh, well. Easy. Pretty sure this would probably get blocked off if I got seen. Uh, let me read this real quick. Okay, just making sure there's nothing like with order going on here. Imagine the men's getting mad at each other because they keep teleporting over to find nothing. Bro, you keep triggering the alarm. You keep fucking triggering the alarm, we're going to have an issue. I told you. Stop. <laughs> Unless there's an emergency. No, I swear, he was here, he was here. Yeah, I can see something like that happening. Hold on. Let this guy shwiggity past. Fuck! Oh my god. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, great. Um. Oh, interesting. The blue phantom wasn't alerted to me. Huh. Okay. Cried gnome. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You know, let me, uh, pull this guy over here. It sucks you kind of have to sit and take damage for it to happen. Unless you want to run him down. But, what do you do? Oh, 
There we go. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. Slight waste of time, but it's fine. Give me 25 extra seconds of health. Wait, which way? Oh, whoops. Right, no, wrong way. I, I thought he went the other way around. Fuck. Oh, hey, well, while you're here. Thanks, pal. May as well. I'm just gonna wait on him to move. Wait, is he just gonna walk back? He's not gonna teleport? The fuck? Where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, he's actually walking back to his route. Interesting. I assumed he would have just teleported. That's strange. I wonder if I... Oh, fuck me. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I wonder if I hit some sort of weird manipulation there. Uh, I believe this purple one uses automatically, but I may as well use it now. Just eight hearts, so why not? Alright. No reason not to just let this guy pester me for a moment. We need to be fast, not necessarily safe. Good. Oh, I, I thought the dinging was him seeing me again. Now let's see if I can actually get over to the fucking right side today. Because <laughs> if I can get both these C charts in one go, I'll be very pleased with myself. Be very pleased with myself. Oh, and there's a new fucking buddy. Hooray. Hold on. Uh, swing? Thank you. Then we can take the time. Do, 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 do. All right. Oh, right, there's a ha is there a hammer in this game? I didn't even remember that. Cool. Cool. Wait, what was- Is there something on the wall there? Hmm. I almost kind of wish there was more of a incentive not to get caught. It really feels like there ain't one. Ooh. Game's chugging a little, it's fine. Stream okay? I think stream's fine. Put that there preemptively, because I can assume what's gonna happen here. I probably should have checked the other stair route there. In case it had any extra time in it or something. Oh, I gotta wait on Eyeball Brother. Preferably take him out. Thank god these puddles are not timed or anything. See you later, fucker. And we are more than good at this point. Oh, maybe that orb would have, like, lowered the spikes, huh? <laughs> Didn't think about that, did I? Oh, I guess, in theory, too, if you have whatever triggers that, uh, plate, which I'm guessing is, like, a hammer that launches you up comically. Wait, could, was there just a button there I could have pressed to lower the spikes? Oh, god damn it. All right, well, lessons have been learned. Cool. Oh, the bone was on that side. All right. I'm going to blame that partly on the camera being so closed in and tight. Not a me issue. Not a skill issue. And... Oh, wait. Do I still take damage here? Not anymore. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. This looks like a map room. Was there a boss battle here? The fuck? Why would I get locked in? Let's grab what we can, then. If I'm going to be doing a boss battle timed... Oh, well, this could help me. What I got? Northeastern. Cool. And it's that easy. All in one go, baby. Explore a new area of the sea. Hey. Two sea charts. We can travel all the seas. Next thing we should do is return the ship. Really, nothing in particular happens here? Huh. Can I open this? The big door, how do we open it? No, oh, okay, well, fair enough. Podgers. Alright, well, 
Fuck. Who needs Phantom Hourglass? Just don't die. Just have health. Duh. You. You. You there, boy. Oh, wait. Does that yellow one stay as, like, a permanent check mark for just how fast he got down there? I've seen a lot of you lately. The skeletons you see here were not prepared to enter this cursed place, but they know many of the temple's secrets. If you want to know them, they'll cost you, but all you have to do is ask. What? What? Do you sell hints now? Fallen wisdom. Sure. Phantom secrets. Later? Later, maybe. You guys are just now merchants? Handy techniques. What about you? Temple shortcuts. Uh, that actually sounds more valuable. Huh. Alright, cool stuff. I should probably grind some grass here and there to see if I can get arrows or whatever, but like arrows and bombs. I don't know if grass actually drops arrows. It probably is, but until I can confirm it, it may not be, and that's gonna bother me. What I don't know, I can't know, but what I do know, I know I don't know. I need to know, you know? Was this fortune teller? Oh yeah, it's the guy you can sell shit to, right? I guess I could sell one of my extra shit parts to him. But, uh, eh, later. More man! Woo! Linebeck. Ahem. Here goes. From Linebeck to Sink. Okay, it's weird. Why am I writing to you when we're together all the time? But just give me a moment to remember why I was writing to you. So, I'm writing because, well, I'm grateful, alright? Happy now? Thanks. Okay, there. I've said it. This is awkward. What next? How about thanks for working like a dog for me, you treasure... Dog! <laughs> See, that's something you just can't say to a guy's face, you know? One more thing, a gift to show my thanks, keep it to yourself, or else... Literally, a gift to keep to myself? It's a part for your ship. Cool. Alright, cool. Later. Goodbye. Let me see if I can, uh, buy a some potions while I'm here again, just have those stocked up. At least have, like, one perp. It's 150, right? Yeah. Worth to have it saves me some trouble like it just did. You can let me pull off some stupid shit that's more fun, why not? All part of my gamer technique. Also, let me, like, throw my custom parts on. I don't know if they actually changed the stats or not. I think they do, but I don't remember. Customize. It's like I have the spike rails. <laughs> More for you than them. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. Horn chimney, sure. Alright, those are, like, the only parts I have. Yeah, yeah. Your ship's stamina will go up if you use parts from the same set. Oh, uh, okay, so it's more about using the same set than just using better parts or something, right? Found all the sea charts. You need to be able to pull it off all along. Let's make some speed. I wonder if I've, like, skipped over a bunch of uh, dialogue and, like, side uh, interactions because I just got both. Probably. It's probably funny. Probably. So how much health do I have? I had four before. Uh, so we can head off this way. Just to be sure, there's nothing I need to do here right now, right? I can't upgrade my spirit, so I don't need to go here. Can Island has nothing, Isle of Ember has nothing. Yeah, no, there, there's really no side content. King of Red Lion set. Well, the, there is the one ship where I was doing the, the minigame that that whole ship literally looks like the King of Red Lions. I don't think there's one for a Linebeck ship, though, sadly. That'd be cool. <laughs> Dumb bitch. Just entered. Goodbye. Southeastern Sea. Oh, I forgot to check my health. Whatever. Goron Island. Isle of Frost. So we probably want to start with this 
set of islands regardless. Just because it's the first you get canonically. Or chronologically. Yeah, good enough. Nah, I still got four hearts, shame. Go away, smelly pirates. Be gone. Loser, 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 loser. How many ships does how many hits does it take to take down a ship? Jesus. That is some sturdy wood you are made of, my friend. Her watching the speed run, they were spamming jump. I don't know if that actually does anything or not, but I want to believe it does. And it's not just them having fun. Wow. What in the world is this? That is a tornado. Oh, cool. I guess we're not allowed to go to Goron. Wow. That was crazy. Who did that cyclone think it was? The engine soaked. We're stuck. Hang on. Oh, it's a boss. All right. Oh, look, kid. Fisher. It's a friend! At a time like this, the day couldn't get any worse. We need to face up to it! Monster like that, who knows how to deal with it? Maybe- Ooh! Fire! Shoot at it! As long as you keep shooting, we just might survive. It's alright. I wonder if we shoot the giant eyeballs. The giant Zelda boss eyeballs. Surely we'll figure out this mystery. Ouch. Yeah. No, don't worry. And I instantly heal it. Cool. Keep shooting in the general direction. Come on. Go away. Go away. Don't come on. There we go. I... What? Those two... I had two HP. What was that? I had two HP. Okay. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Oh my god, alright. Is there a fast forward? There's not, is there? Okay, cool. I disagree with that outcome, but whatever you say, this is one of those moments where having ship parts would be very pleasant. Oh shit, speaking of. I'm surprised I didn't land on it there. Yeah, like the the big dick set is uh like just you basically plate your ship out in gold, you give it like a ruby anchor. I love that shit, it's awesome. I was so proud when I got it as a kid. Oh, is there one closer? Hello. Okay, bye. Hell of a tracking shot, jeez. mech piloted by the lady pirate. It wouldn't surprise me if she's... It, honestly, it's, it wouldn't even be a mech. It would just be like a squid she crawled inside of and started controlling. I'd believe it. I can't believe you insult such a cute fish like that. Lineback. Heartless bastard. Wow, and it immediately goes in for an undodgeable hit. Oh my god, funny. It matters too much, but a little wacky. Come on, can you hit it? Oh, and that didn't even give a help. Huh. There we go. Oh. Change your mind? What you doing, pal? What you doing? Come on. Stop spinning. Okay, so I've learned... From before, my strategy of ignoring damage is not in my favor. Let's not ignore damage, let's instead stop damage from happening. Especially when he's shitting out so many projectiles. I can't hit it! The camera rotation made it so I couldn't hit it! Aww. Deja Garmer for first time? Oh my god, yeah, something like that. I remember finding Dejic Armor 
and Morrowind. Just lying around. Good stuff. Come on. Aw, oh, it's so far away, I have to aim really high. Be like a little higher. Ow! No! 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 They're not dropping any healing! Okay. Oh, Jesus. Whew. Literally bombarded me with more than I could shoot at. As far as I could tell. Just the distance made that a pain. How'd we do that? We shot at it. And hey, the engines had a chance to dry out. Okay, easy. Oh, and she showed up in the meantime. Very funny if she decided to ambush us and shoot her ship down. You, you don't have to show the whole way there. You could just cut to getting on the island. But I appreciate the effort. Look at that map. No houses. Wonder if there's any pure metal here. Amateur. Places like this always have treasures. Everywhere is treasure if you, like, think about it hard enough. You supposedly have a nose for this, so we'll follow your instincts. Can't say it's pure metal will find, but whatever will scare up, it's all mine. I'm chewing on Ocean's Ocean King's offer. You'll grant any wish that I whip up, but what would you wish for? I'm curious. Treasure. Maybe to wish for three more wishes. I beg you don't understand Sink at all. Yeah, I'd wish for infinite amount of wishes, dumbass. And this for Tantra, you <laughs> dip. You're sort of, I guess you're sort of a good guy. Well, that was out of character for me, holy shit. Huh. Go then, get out of my sight, fetch some of that pure metal before I start thinking about good things, huh? God, Lambic's interactions would be s Oh my god. I forgot this theme. I know this is kind of just the basic Goron theme, but the weird ass sound font. You put your foot on Goron Island Outsider and make yourself known to all. We Gorons are proud. We do not play with strangers. Damn. Yeah, the lineback interactions would be so much better without the fairy just being. <laughs> Bomb shoes and a yellow potion. Okay. I don't have any money, but just wanted to see. A spin. Roll. Go. Go into the wall. Hello. Unusual. We rarely see off-islanders here, outsider. You put your foot into Goron home, which we carve out of solid rock. We find them cozy since they stay cool in summer and warm in winter. Wow, we should all just live inside of rocks. Natural insulation. Why didn't we think of this sooner? Have you heard of something called a store? We finally have one. You lose your shield and pick up a new one. Yo, I love modern society. I also love that dying out on the ship, uh, makes me go down to three hearts. Can I jump that? Nah. Alright, well, this is almost certainly a dig spot, so who's ready for some brute forcing? Oorah. Oh, you can even dig those spots. Fuck me. Alright, we're gonna be here a minute. I refuse to believe there's not something buried here. Exactly, you can just pop up a goddamn Minecraft dirt brick house anywhere you want. Nothing more powerful. Pull some potatoes out of the ground or something. What's to stop you? Grab these real quick safely. Cool. Now, if I go through every one of these and there's not, like, an actual treasure... But then later on, I see a note or get, like, something that tells me there is a treasure here. I'll be a little miffed. But at least I'll know that I shouldn't random dig because it's a waste of time. Alright, well, either way, nothing here. Unless it's on the area below, but no, don't worry about that. Hello. Nice rocks. Your face is unknown to me, but he'll find sharing words with you, and I will share something about our chief. He loves to play question games. Further, he asks questions that dwell upon the many details of our island life. Shut up. Stealing your rock money. It's my rock money now. I need it for rock-related purchases. 
rock and roll, baby. Rock and stone, even. Hello. Just look at her. What a ship, such a brown beauty. I put ugly ass spikes on it. Time to lose. Time loses all meaning when I gaze upon her if she only were mine. You heard that somewhere? Yeah, yeah, wait, I was about to say, didn't someone else say that exact line? Down, outsider. X to down, outsider. Your face is new to me. Have you come from the ship? My father's staring at it. That bothers me. If only someone would tell him. If only someone would tell him that it bothers me. D d would you like me to? Hello, your son is incapable of speaking to you. Haha. -ha. No, okay. Why do you hear electric chews? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I was gonna say a sign. Give a shout if you need anything. Shit. Wait, let's see if uh, the blow sound works. Oh, it does. Cool. Hey. Want to come over here? I will put the bridge out. Why did you put the bridge away? How are you planning to get back? Unless you're going around the entire island. Seems like a convenient bridge to have. No toll, of course. Nice. I solved the puzzle of screaming. Uh, build chief house, I assume. Is it actually going to be like a riddle of learn the town, then come back with answers? You have entered the home of the Elder Goron, the leader of our proud tribe. I'm his son, Gone Goron. The Hunter X Hunter fame. We do not take kindly to off islanders. We hate you. We are incredibly racist. I am Big Goron. They call me that because I'm the fucking hugest there is. No, so it's pure metal that you seek. That is a potent Goron symbol. I'll speak of it no farther. You must first become a member of our tribe if you wish to learn more. Make yourself known to each and every Goron. You must become friends with everybody. New mission. Talk to everybody in Stardew Valley. We do not share words easily with strangers. Surely cannot tell you that our elder's house is up there. You know what? Good job, Proudy. Now, when do I get to start planting stuff? Do you know the big Goron secret outsider? Well, we call our islands Goron Ambers. Actually, on second thought, it's too soon for you now. Okay. When I'm a big Goron rock man, please tell me all of your Goron rock secrets. What secrets could you hold about rocks? How yummy they are. Probably should check this first. That's fine. Hello. Now, Slater, have you ever heard of a wood heart? I love them so much. We Gorons eat the small wood hearts in order to grow into big Gorons. What? It's like a Pokemon evolution stone? You got a Digivolve? Remember those rocks? I feel like those rocks are going to be like a... Hey, uh, you have to point to where the, like, three rocks were, two rocks, and one rock were. Don't know who you are, outsider, but I'm glad to see you. There's some strange creatures on that cliff. Huh? Kill them! Murder them! Please! They're so ugly! Nut. No oh, shit. Wait, let me back up. It's so easy to hop over a ledge in this. Cool. Thank you, Outsider. I'm relieved that those strange creatures are gone. You're a good stranger, outsider, but you are also a strange creature. Die. Yeah, cool. I don't know why he had a treasure map for somewhere out in the middle of the ocean, but cool. Good on you, buddy. All right, anything else? All right. See you later. That should have been everyone. I think I remember where the... I hope it doesn't ask me to pinpoint the exact location of the houses, like, without showing, hey, here are the houses in general. I might have to double back and check on that. Like, made yourself known, it appears not. Huh? Huh? Let's talk to people multiple- Oh, wait, I didn't go up here. Right, fair. 
Hello, Mido. Mido. Little stranger, you are no Goron. Only members of the Goron tribe can go through here. Oh, okay, now you tell me. Spoken to everyone on the island. How do you know? You are knowledgeable of such things. I can sense your burning desire to rank among the Gorons, outsider, but does your desire to become a Goron burn to your very core? Let me probe in the matter with a game of questions. Oh, I had to pay to do it. Oh, you're a fucking bitch. Okay, whatever. Let me explain the rules. I'll ask you six questions, give you a prize for each correct answer. You get just one wrong, I'll take everything back. I'll also grant you one Goro hint that eliminates one of the wrong answers. Okay, well, multi-choice, I guess is better than not. You'll understand best if you simply try it. First question. How many homes are there on this island? Well, there is one... I, if I recall correctly, there's one, two, three, four, five. I guess we're for including his six. Correct. Nice. One rupee, woo! Impressive. Next question. How many Gorons live on this island? Again, if I have to recall from memory, there's one here, two, three out here, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think it's twelve. No, shit, damn. Okay, well. Duh, fuck it, we're just gonna brute force. I'm actually gonna just uh, save state this in case I run out of money. This is kind of bullshit. I don't want to run through all my money just for stupid number counting. First question. The Goron at this spot, what is he staring at? The ship. How do you even know that? How many homes are there on this island? Six. Still use the same questions. Uh, I'm gonna use Goro Hint on this one. It's either 12 or 14. I, I wanna say it's 14. Yeah. Bit of a guess on my part, but there we go. You have answered half of the questions with ease. How will you fare with the remaining three? Answer me, these riddle threes. What color were the odd creatures on the cliff? How do you know? You're so smart and handsome. Great kisser, too. Two questions remain. I wonder if you will survive. If you get them wrong, I'll fucking kill you. How many rupees have you won so far? Well, it was 1, 5, 20, 20, so four, 46. I can do basic math. Ooh, raw. Woo, baby! I can barely tell you from a Goron, stranger. In fact, I'm going to force-feed you rocks now. And just final question, right? You'll officially be a member of those Gorons. Are those Gorons outside? How many are adults? There's the one staring at the ship. There's the one at the dock. There's the one guarding the gate, and there's one out front, so I think it's four. I think it's four. Almost Goron. Yes! Yes, it is! Yes! It's my ultimate answer! Woo, baby! I can count numbers! Woo! We really went from fucking put the square block in the square hole to can you count to four. Maybe this is babies for Zelda. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now an official brother of our proud Gorondra. Why isn't he using his hands? What? Why isn't he using his hands? How's he doing that? Why... Where's the sound coming from? What? Why isn't he using his hands? Why isn't he using his hands? So it shall now and forever be that we call you Goro Sink Smile. Let's reward your deep knowledge with this. Whoop! There. Ahem. And now, because you are an official member, I need to collect the official dues! <laughs> okay, funny. 
Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna save state. I wanna see what happens if I say no. Nope. Oh. You are now a proud brother and contributor. You must pay. No. Shirking off dues will not be tolerated. Pay up. No. Stubborn, eh? Big girl not tolerate dues, shirkers? Pay now and my wrath. Nope. Is that how you want it? Then we'll have to shake those dues out of you. Oh, funny. You're now a brother of the Goron tribe in good standing. True your proud courts. <laughs> it's like goddamn dwarves from Warhammer just... If you're not going to give us what we want, we're gonna beat it out of you. We're gonna fucking rip it out of you. But as soon as that was you, hey, we're on good terms now. We're all fine. Everything is past is best. About that pure metal. I'm growing forgetful in my old age. The pure metal is now in our temple. I put it there for safekeeping. You're now one of us, so you're free to take it. And a little gongor on there will show you to the temple. Hello, friend. We will never recognize you as a true brother. <laughs> No, he's so fast, he's walking at a leisurely pace. Puck, I think I lost him already. I'm gonna have to think about this one. <sighs> Alright, what are we doing? Hey, where'd that kid go so fast? I may be fat, but I sure am quick. Wait. Oh no, when you roll it leaves like a circular impression in the ground. I thought that was... Uh, like a big spot. Found Goron? No, I can't say I've seen him, brother. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to go through without Gong Goron. Uh, hopefully he's not in a house. Where'd he go? I saw him run to the west. Alright. For what purpose? We simply don't know. Oh, is he up at the area I was digging a bunch at? Probably. I guess we'll go this way first. Just to be sure. Yeah, it's probably up here. Oh, wait, no, there he is. Hold on. Catch me if you can! Walks off at a leisurely pace. No, come back. Haha, <laughs> so sexy. Eh. Official brother, uh, is focused on the ship. Yes, yeah, same, don't worry. It's a nice ship. Uh, let me guess, we just go back this way. Here, talk to this kid. Over there. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. Make us run all the way to the left so that we can then go to actual progress. For what reason in particular, I don't know. Haha, -ha, don't catch me. Haha, -ha, tee hee. No, stop chasing me. Haha. -ha. Hey, what's up? Oh, I don't know why he's done me before. But okay. Okay, well, time for uh, Zelda 2 maze. Zelda 2 overworld maze. Yeah, d I'm not dumb. I know. Give me a second video game. I can think about this. Oh, hell yes. It's like the same kind of tech you see in other Zelda games. Just to smack the bomb to get it to pop faster. Oh, you can actually swipe from far enough away that it doesn't even hurt you. Cool. Ow. Uh, what are we dealing with? Oh. No. Probably should just walked around that to be itch. Nut. Free bombs. Actually, you know what? I don't mind getting some free bombs here. I'll need them. If it doesn't take too long. Okay, it's a little longer than I'd like to wait. Good enough. Just remember not to roll four times in a row. Four is simply too many. You will get very dizzy. Die immediately. That is not on a timer. Cool. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm a cheapskate, so give me that. Rock? Oh, I can't pick it. Right. Can't pick it up because it's a buddy. Eh, that's fine. Here you go. 
Huh, come to think of it these here, I guess you could... In a, again, rando logic brain turning on, I guess you could do this... ...without bombs. Which is strange, I don't know why they let you do that here, but... Hmm. Need to know. Aw, oh, you're telling me this is nothing. Wait, is that a big rupee? No. This is nothing? I don't believe you. Hmm. Whatever you say. That's another one there. Uh. Oh, come on. There we go. Save myself an arrow. Oh, you're a tough bastard. Okay. Is the- I guess the eyeball is a sign of where to blow your load, because it sort of looks the same as the spot before, so... Like, hey, where's the hole there? It's up against the eyeball. Where's the hole here? It's up against the eyeball. And that's how you do logic. Remember, when doing demolition, it's important to find the walls that you can blow up. Some you simply cannot. They're too well made. Finally! Ten! Jeez. Took long enough to get one more. Alright, well, and after this, I guess we get to go back uh, to Fairy Island. I'll probably try to find the Golden Frogs before I do that, though. Oh, okay. Wow, you guys, great. Because this is one of those games where you can actually... Uh, lose your shield to them. Woo! Not that the shield's that important, but it's still nice. Hey. I wonder if he went in here. Oh, that's why that island's there. Okay, funny. These guys have a fascination with not extending their bridges. They just really love inconveniencing people. Ah, the Sarlacc Pits. Wonderful. No sign of Gongorons. Push farther. Stay out of the quicksand. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, lesson, lesson learned. Fully really noted. Ah, yeah, there's no way of getting past that thing's line of sight. If you're in its line of sight, you're just going to get hit at least once, there's no question. Fair enough, I guess. But I'm going the right way. Oh. Okay, well, I can't wait for this thing to come to life later and start running me down. Trying to find my area. Oh, it's like not in range there. Okay, cool. Then, duck behind you, and we're good. Give. Uh, is a pushable block or what? No, if it's a door, it doesn't open from here. Arrow. Eyeball arrow. Timed. Okay, we probably need to like get out the bomb. Oh Jesus! I knew it! I knew it! Played Wind Waker. I knew this shit. Uh, open up. Open up. Oh, you just need to hit it with a bomb in general. Okay. I'm just waiting for the mouth to open. Does it stay down? Or is it eventually going to go, you know what? Fuck you for bombing me. How dare you? Open the door. Okay. Let's assume he's going to wake back up and be a little pissy when he does and just book it. Well, I guess if I'm not near him, he's not going to move, by the way. I'm like you. That, nope. Yeah, this side. Thank you. All right, yeah, just throw a bomb down that thing. Always one of those moments where, like, I see, oh, I have to use the shovel thing to get up there. But why? Why would you do that and not just, you know, use stairs? The obvious answer is they're trying to justify the shovel existing still. 
but then again, Rando Brain goes, Ooh, that means shovels required for this place. Smile. Possibly, anyways. No. Oh, come on, I clicked. Oh, I guess they do stay dead if that's technically like a defeat state. To open the door. Cool. Good to know. Is that to be held down? No. Not for once. Cool. Uh, okay, well, we obviously bomb more than just the one that's cracked. Wouldn't be right otherwise. Ready just chest. Yeah, alright. Nope. Oh, I see the little, uh, mouse hole thing up here. I guess this is the dungeon where we get whatever the hell that is. Neat. Two. Three. Great game. Yeah, I played, uh... I played Link's Awakening DX on my 3DS forever ago. It's a very fun game. Probably one of my favorite, of uh, the traditional... Probably my favorite of the traditional 2D Zelda games. I'd have to go back and replay it, but it, it, I think it holds up better than most of the others. Yeah, I'm not really counting the DS games here because they're a completely different beast. Hey, there we go, sick. Those games are really fun, though. I'm wondering, and now, now I'm thinking about it, I'm wondering if they have the same shitty combat problem Link to the Past does. Where it's like, hey, do you like getting knocked around? Hopefully not. And even if you, even if it does, you just use the Chain Chomp to do everything else for you. Come on. Dad. Mm. Struggling there for a moment. This way, brother. Oh, he's actually calling me brother now. So that's where he was. No, not really. Monsters grabbed me and threw me in here. Get owned. What is that? Say? Nope. No! Nope. <laughs> uh, no. Oh. Thank you, brother. I am very sorry that I ran away. Really, please. Please save me. Then you save me. He's like, ha, bitch, I could have done it myself. Hang on. Behind you! Yo, Eyeball Man. Very obvious weakness. Ow. But only did have like half a heart. Cool. Alright, nice. I can see those guys being a big threat in a group, but uh, just hit him, that's fine. Amazing! You actually defeated that monster I caught. Thank you, brother. Now I can run for you again. Welcome, Blade. It seems like we've hit a dead end on our side. See these spikes? They're in our way, points at my map. My assistants are gonna help remove that trap. Oh, yeah, you get to play as both characters here, do you? Cool. When you want to call on me, just have my icon. Mmm, fun. Alright. So rather than having to use fucking command melody. Yes. One of us falls, so will the other. Now then leave this next part to me. Neat. And, uh, oh, okay, so he can, like, bash things like that, cool. Oh, and he just rolls, yo! He even gets my money for me. Stop that. Oh, I only had to, like, tap once, and he just went full on auto, cool. Oh, that time he did, huh. God, I love Goron rolls. Something about just the big guys rolling around. Beating everything up, breaking everything in their way is so cathartic. Especially Majora's Mask. <laughs> ah, da 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 da. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we're gonna play that game. Come on, suck, suction, or that. Either ah, works. Does the arrow disappear off screen? Hmm. Uh. 
That's not the chest one, so what do you have to say? At least I don't think it is, right? Time's life won't let you seek the help of others. When standing alone fails to help... <laughs> hey, in case you didn't understand the gimmick of the level yet. Oh. Oh, I guess if I get enough speed, I can, uh, make that work. Rolling start! Cool. Alright, thank you for getting me my new item. I no longer have need of you. Oh, it's just bomb chews! Right, okay. For some reason I thought there was, like, some remote control bullshit. No, you just throw the bomb chews in the holes. Oh, and you can guide them! That's right! That's how they made bomb chews work in 2D. Along a path you draw, navigate a path for a bomb chew by drawing the lower screen. They're amazingly handy. Nice. Right. Where you off to? Can I just roll into these guys? That'd be nice. Oh, I can. Cool. Right. Ain't nothing stopping me. Nice. It'd be nice if the swap was on a button as well, but I don't believe it is. Anything that you can put on to, like, one of the face buttons in this game is just helpful to have. Easy enough. Now... Oh, opening the... That's a strange trigger. I was gonna say, how, how do you want me to get past the bomb shoot past the spike? Sure. Oh, damn it. Hold down L. Yeah, there we go. Look at him go! I love the bomb shoes in this game. Get the spikes go down and finally pass through. You're doing well, brother over the. I found a hole I can squeeze through. Alright, rolling star, buddy. Go for it. Wait! Wait! No, I was hoping you would stay there and starve eventually. No, maybe we'll even find some pure metal. Maybe we will find the objective. Uh, let's go back up first. Pop it. Alright. Uh, I assume this is just a shortcut here, right? Man, I love the way this works. It's actually like going kind of tile by tile rather than like a freeform drawn path. And it also stops you from going into a wall, which is nice. So it's not like, oops, I accidentally bumped a wall and now my bomb chew's wasted. Very, very pleasant. Again, they just made absolute wonderful use of Nintendo DS. No other fucking game that can compare to, like, what can the DS do? Short of, I don't know, Ghost Trick. Uh, chest. Put the two switches at the same time if you want to cross the pad. Bomb you could do all the work for you while you stand around. Oh, okay. I'm assuming there's one over there, yeah, so. I don't know if there's even, like, any limit on the bomb chew distance they can go. Or if there is a limit, it's super, super far. And the fact that you can choose to either sit and watch it, or just... Oh, I love it! I love it. It's the same thing with the boomerang. It's so good. I'm just curious, is there anything over here? No. Well, hold on, let me actually just check across with the boomerang. No, there's a button over there. Love to get some normal bombs. Go away, go away. Bastard, go away. God, I cannot wait for this sword upgrade. 
I think there's more than just the Phantom, up, uh, the, the one upgrade we're working for right now. I don't know if there's anything, like, far beyond that, but I think there's some optional stuff you can do. Hmm. The fact that I have to do a jumping slash to kill one of these things is... Eh. If Wind Waker was a rupee-heavy, rupee-hungry game, I'd say this game is doubly so. <laughs> Wind Waker, most of the rupees end up just being used for Tingle Quest anyways. Here you get, like, actual decent optional upgrades and such. So yeah, like, if it ran into the blue there, it would blow up because it lets you path through that for the sake of these puzzles. It's just, it's just fun. It's a fun mechanic. No, no treasure. Normal-ass bombs, holy. Can you imagine? Wake up! No, whoops, not what I meant to do. All right, geez, I wonder where you go. Ah, oh, it's multiple of you. I wonder if speedruns have, like, a manipulation for this, where it's just, hey, wake them up and then immediately, uh, have them deactivate on top of the button, like that right- uh, almost like that right there. It's probably really tight, given they're right next to the damn thing. And that stuff like that can happen instead. <laughs> okay, I didn't want to waste another bomb, so it's just gonna- kind of swirl them around there. It works. It works. <sighs> no, the pots are haunted. They're going for revenge. Uh, boss key there. Not a huge dungeon. Pretty standard size for this game so far. Which is fine by me. Love to see uh, some of the later dungeons get like a, a little bigger, more standard. 3D Zelda sizey. That'd be cool. Um, you know what? Let me just. Oh, whoa! He actually, like, knocked it back. That was sick. I ain't even mad. That was cool. Ow. Bye. Thank you. Cool. Just in time there. I wonder if you even can fight them without stunning them. It seems like they kind of just deflect and knock back and mass. Yeah, they even give you arrows here, so you probably can't even fight them without. Should be kind of lame. I hope that's not the case, but. Oh. Uh. Treasure's gonna spawn up there. What do you do? On a timer, I assume. Yeah, very short timer. Ooh, hell yeah. There we go. All four at once. Love to see it. For not to see you guys, though. Up back. Whoa. What the I keep thinking the normal rupees are like the, the giant rupees. They just look so fucking huge in this game. It makes me want to pick them up even more on top of them being actually useful. I guess in theory I could have also just used a normal bomb there and timed it. I think you could get away with that. What's up? Well, it seems you cannot pass looking across the quicksand for answers. Uh, okay, well. Maybe I just shouldn't hit these things, because I'm curious if they're going to say something useful. Something, like, cool. But it's usually just, like, spoilers. Hey, Dum Dum, here's how you join the puzzle. Uh, okay. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus! Come on. Any more? I see you. There. See, we'll get in the way of the bomb, Jew. 
But yeah, funny enough, I guess you really can just use this as like a scouting drone as well. Kind of anywhere it can travel across the floor, you can go ahead and see. Honestly, I, like a fuck, a telescope would have been good in this game more so than Wind Waker, huh? With the tight FOV. Oh shit, we're already at the boss. <laughs> Short dungeon. All right. Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I have to hold the L or R button down that entire time. There we go. Easy. Alright, well. Nice bite-sized dungeon. Honestly, like, I, I mostly wish these were longer of just because the sections between dungeons are, like, three times as long as the time it takes to go through the dungeon. <laughs> and it's all, like, story bits for the most part. Or, uh, Ocean Palace revisits. Which do eventually become interesting when you get to new areas, but... Man... Want more? Want more video game? Oh, you know, I didn't even see these downstairs here on the mini map before. Uh, fuck it. What do you want? Hide no secret paths. So waste not a single bomb. Just use. Oh. I. You see, you say that, and, and now I think you're lying to me. Uh, but that, that, I don't know, that seems very out of character for Nintendo to be like that. So I'm going to assume that's true. <laughs> I, I guess they were like, wait, these decorative pillars look really cool, but players are going to waste bombs on this. That just fucking tell them not to. Isn't that, isn't that a little like the fourth Wally? Oh, Don Gorongo. Not just a Dongo. Look at that massive, stinky lizard. It's way over there, and we're over here, and it's over there. But what if... My brother is a bring down the monster! Could help you trip it up, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Go, big boy. Ooh, rah. Wait, does it matter which way I knock it over? No, okay, probably not. Uh... Do, 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 do. Oh, actually, no, that's very nice, because that has its mouth facing. Uh, where I am. Cool. Good job, Borbongo. Good job, Garbanzo Beans. Okay, I just have to, like, hit the side is the thing. You are under attack! You are under attack! You are in danger! Yeah, 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 I know. Seek help immediately! Seek help immediately! Now is your time, brother. Rat. Ooh, oh my god, he actually outspeeds the camera. Strange. Oh, come on, no, get the, get the snack. No! <laughs> god damn it. Little, uh. <laughs> little too efficient movement. I'm trying to keep Link from having to pass back to Link. So yeah, now it's gonna. Yeah, I know he's in danger. I'm also in danger. We're all in danger at different times. Ow. Uh, no. 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 Okay, so time does stop while you're playing the path. That's good. Yum yum. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, I can just ignore the mistakes for the most part. Cool. Neat. Rule of three. Love to see when Zelda actually follows its, uh, oh, somewhat own established rule. The pyramidal is in there. I will get it. No, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Except round two, bitch. Yep, yeah, I... Well, I, I don't remember this fight at all, but I saw that one coming. <gasps> He's just playing dead. He's a well-trained boy. 
and he's pissed. Holy shit, he's giving back birth, or he just fucking mega evolved? I, I don't know about that one. Oh, that's a bomb. Whoops. I'm trying to find bombs. So I only got like four here. Oh, they drop bombs. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's some sucking in. Come on, give us some suck. Give us some suck. There we go, thank you. Alright, very nice of me to expose a new weak point. It's the classic rule. You can't get a new move set that's more powerful without first making a new weak point for yourself. Kira was not allowed to get Bite Zadusto without first getting the weakness of, like, overzealousness. Giorno was not allowed to get, uh... Requiem without... being retconned out. Yeah, I suppose that's kind of its own weakness. Okay, I'm glad he doesn't bore me when doing that. No, is this snack coming? Look out, 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 look out. No, snack, snack, snack. All right, cool. Pretty good. Man, he looks like a Pokemon. Man, he looks like a fossil fighter dinosaur. Man, I want to play fossil fighters. Man, I like to make good video games. How the hell am I as a streamer supposed to sit down and go, yeah, I'm going to dedicate, like, be this type of streamer, you know, do this type of content, you know, it's, just, it's like, man, there's too many good video games. How do people, like, go, oh, I don't know what to stream, there's nothing fun to play. Bitch, there's infinitely fun amount of games to play. In fact, there are too many fun games to play. The hard part is just choosing which one. Yeah! Loves it. He fucking loves it. Two minutes. Baller. I could probably rerun the, uh, the distance to the yellow teleport in the ocean temple. Like, see if I can get my time down, just so I have a little more time for the future. I don't know how much farther it goes. But I feel like if I got all four C charts, it probably doesn't go that much farther. I probably don't even have to go back there anytime soon. Been waiting for you. I heard all that terrible thrashing. Did something happen in there? Nah, sorry. Just my balls swaggling about as I walked over the bridge. Couldn't stand. Yeah, okay. Thank you for recap. We couldn't have done it without you. After our battles, a brand new impression. There was nothing really. So I present to you the Goron Pure Metal Brother. Wow. The Pure Metal Brother. Thanks, Gongoron. Let's grab it. Is there anything cool up here? No? Okay. Cinematic, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, just basic. Basic grab thing. You got the Crimson Knight. One metal you need to make the Sacred Sword. Only a sword forged to the three pure metals has the power to defeat Bellum. Isn't Bellum, like, the name of a mineral? You did it. You got some pure metal. I guess that Linebeck's nose for treasure actually works sometimes. There's the Crimson Knight that we Goron's treasure with such pride. But, you know, you, you, like, knew our names and, like, counted us, so you can have it. That's pretty impressive, I would say. Time to head home. Try not to get yourself good and lost again, dummy. No problem, there's a teleport out. My father and I will be waiting for you. See you later, brother. Walks out immediately, the magic teleport opens behind him. Such a pushy guy. God, this fairy just talks shit behind everyone's back. This fairy is like a Twitter user. Just bitchy, 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 moan, moan, moan. Then when the person's gone, they're even more toxic. No, I don't use that word seldom. Anyways, teleport. Oh, yeah, we're on to the second part now. Nice. Alright. Real quick, I want to see. So, the medals go up top there. It's just very interesting seeing this layout. It seems almost nonsensical. 
Like, I don't know why the sun key and the ghost key needed their own slot here. The sun key I could almost understand because you had to take it from one place to another. The ghost key was literally a key you picked up and used in the same dungeon. Like, why would that need to be something separate? Again, like, that right there! That that almost seems just like, oh, but what if players got things out of order, haha? -ha? Maybe they weren't thinking randomizers, but it almost seems like they were. And that fucks with me. How did they know? How did they know? I will oblige and get more things out of order. What if, like, supplies? That works too. I'm also gonna have to probably stop and do some treasure charts. Because I am low on money. I wonder if they even let you leave without talking to a Gore Bonzo and a Gore Big Guy for you. Probably not. So now I'm gonna bother, but. Let's see. Hold on. Been waiting for you, brother, to tell my father how we joined force to defeat those creatures. So did you guys know that there's a giant dragon in your mines? Do you, like, use those mines, or were they a temple, or what? And Gorn told me all about your efforts. To thank you, you can take the crimsonine with you. It is our pure metal. Boil, break, bake, or forge it. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Whatever you like, for it is yours, brother. Actually, wouldn't they consider that a food? It's become clear to me that you stand tall and proud among us. I'm actually pretty short. This is difficult for me to say, but I believe the time has come for you to leave. We'll be fine! You just have to go. As a parting gift, I'll return the Goron fee you contributed- Ah! Oh. <laughs> and a little more, what a nice guy. And a bonus, a little something from the Goron people. Hope your, uh, that your pride only grows with time. Anything else? Okay, well. You know what, this seems just oddly in character for the Gorons. This seems oddly in character, like... Hey! Oh, you impressed us by doing basic tasks. You are now one of us after we were very zealously against you ever speaking to us. Now that you have done a monumental task that we were unaware we even needed done, you should probably move on. But remember, pride and prejudice. And zombies. Bumps you bag. Hmm. How much? I'm sh assuming she'll be on it at one of the other islands around here. How does it fuck me? Yeah. So what's the other one actually do? Instantly store all hearts. Okay, so purple's an automatic revive, but yellow is all hearts. Uh, yeah, same price. Like, if you're down to one heart and you're even slightly concerned that damage wouldn't be incurred in a moment, why would you ever want the purple? <laughs> you can just drink the yellow. Hello. The pure metal's all ours. Now we're stuck closer to treasure. I mean, Tetra, yeah. What are you taking? Are you here? You got some nerve, you glittery bit of whatever. We're all making sacrifices. Maybe it's just that time. I think the sacrifice I'm making right now is my sanity listening to this fucking fairy. That gives us something to look forward to, doesn't it, Lineback? Ship out and find the main pure metal, yeah, yeah. Man, I wonder if you could do, like, a rewrite type of mod for this game. Ooh, and I got treasure to do here. Isle of Frost. I don't even know if I can land there. Uh, we're going to... Head over that way, check for if there's something in that triangle. If dumb bitch attacks, then so be it. There's kind of no avoiding the collision course there. Run her down. Either she's going to pass and go towards the triangular region, or no, she's just going to hang out directly on our path. I swear the AI knows. It just knows to stay, like, on top of where you're going. That's so fucking annoying. <gasps> I could use a golden frog here, though. That'd be nice. I definitely don't want to go back till I get a golden frog. Oh, she actually fucked off. Wow. That's surprising. Welcome surprise. Cool. Why not? What? Come on. Does this thing even attack? No, it just dances around us. It doesn't seem like that bad a guy. Yeah. 
This guy's just looking. Oh yeah, these guys are just having a little bit of a look-see. Ah, they don't seem like awful dudes to me. Uh, salvage. So I need money. Money, guns, and bitches, as they say. You know, I've often considered... Should I, like, ever tone down my... Cursing? Should I ever tone down some of the... M-rated jokes I do? So I look at other streamers and YouTubers and I'm like, Oh, no, you don't understand. I need my brand image to, to be squeaky clean. Like, but, you know, they will be the kind of people who still curse it and make uh, adultish jokes every now and then. So it's not like they're entirely without character or something, or they're entirely just, like, babified. But I will gladly stay to what I am. I don't care if people ever find... <gasps> How I conduct myself super unappealing. <laughs> you know, I want that singular green rupee, but not that badly. So I know I've had that. I I've seen people say that to me, and I've had that conversation. Like, no, well, I, I don't want to, like people being mean to each other. Or I don't want to say anything mean. I don't want to say ba Baba Booey because uh, I, I want to worry about my Twitch career. I want to worry about my YouTube career. It's like, man. I understand the concern, but, like, you will go miles and miles better just speaking from the heart. And my heart says, fuck bitches, get money. Fuck bitches that I didn't actually realize until now that is literally just the model from Wind Waker for that chest. Cool. <gasps> Alright, well, whatever. Lame, but whatever. For dollar, dollar cash money. I guess I could sell ship parts, too, if I really wanted to. Like, obviously, it'd be nice to have them. That's a island, I believe. Where? Oh, eyeballs. Uh. Oh! That's a funny-looking island. Sure, why not? Let's go there briefly. Why is there a DS island? I have no recollection of that. <laughs> is there an island that's just a giant DS? What is this fucking Smash Bros. stage? Oh, sharks, great. What do you mean, end of the line? Do, do, do you not see the giant goddamn thing directly in front of us? Do you not want to make note of that? No, oh, wow, now you see it, huh? You see the Nintendo DS. Your eyes widen. They pop out of your skull. A wooga, my love. Maybe I will set course for that island. Maybe. Question mark. You know what? I hope it remains named question mark. Because that is a questionably designed island. Unless I get to play Pokemon on that island. I'm going to wonder why it exists. Unless I get to mod it because honestly mod- DS island. Because modding a 3DS is surprisingly easy be disappointed. I think this island might actually just be, like, one big treasure hunt. If I recall. Hello. Boing boing. Something is buried under the lower screen menu button. Whatever that means. Oh, that'd be, like, a bottom left of the screen. Okay, if there's a ton of money to be made here, I am down -zo. Wrong button. Shovel hit something. Huh? A snake. Oh! Okay. Interesting. Oh. Uh. Shovel hit something. Cool! Is this just like. Mystery dig, uh, like the dig site from. <laughs> what is it? Uh, OSRS? We're too busy, so there's no time to help my dad. Shame. Busy, busy, so busy, I have no idea where I should even start. Start with Nintendogs. That's a pretty easy one to get into. Goron game, 50 rupees per play. 
Exit on the upper right, prepare your shovel. Let me take a look around the island first. If I need to, like, do specific tasks, I'd rather be ready. Ah, oh, funny. Keeps throwing me off. Why am I not picking it up? Why did Link just hit the rock? It's a very clear answer. Ah, okay. So I'm gonna take a guess that, like... If it's not something preordained to be good, it's just gonna be snake nest, snake nest, snake nest. Beehive! At least that's simpler to take care of. I forgot bees were in this game. Oh, wait, hold on. Bitch. Wake up! I hate that. You basically have to run into them to make them fucking wake up. Otherwise, you can't even, like, remove the rock. Probably not worth grinding all this, but I'm just curious if any of the some things give anything good. Okay, that's decently good, yeah. I'd say so. Underground beehive, alright. Not gonna mess with any of the giant groups like that anymore. All of the traps. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I just thought about it. The game has, like, built-in traps. <gasps> On top of Rupors. Ah, oh, that's funny. The rando brain uh, juice keeps going. <laughs> and spawn bee traps, which is always fun. Why is there just one of those dudes down there, the fuck? Alright, uh, whatever, Goron game? challenge called the Goron Game will be opening here soon. We're behind our preparations. Oh. Damn. Well, part of me wants to check every single nook and cranny here. Part of me also just wants to hop down and beat this guy up. Alright, wrong button. Wrong button. You can do it. You're pressing every button but the one you need to. There you go, buddy. Uh, these are just gonna be hearts? No, they're actually items. Cool. You know, this is actually also just a good source of arrows for me. Oh, I can actually hit both of them at the same time if they're close. Hmm, didn't think about that. In fact, ah, oh, shit. You know, I'm gonna wait for the stun to wear off on him. There we go. Yo, okay, I get dizzy myself there, but that's really good damage, and now he should be dead in a couple hits. One hit even, holy. Easy. Courage him, okay. Uh, I don't think I have enough of those yet, still. Nah. I feel like I'm getting those, like, nuts, both those and the wisdom, but... Still only, like, six or seven. Do be that way. Well, that was fun. Come back here later. What's this island? Sort of a different shape, don't you think? Yeah. Man, I remember as a kid, I thought it was the coolest shit when I learned. Oh, do you know why it's called the DS? Because it's called Dual Screen. Yeah. Like, I felt like a fucking genius for uh, figuring that one out. Or learning it, rather. And that was a really poorly drawn path, but well, you know, and it works. It looks almost like we're getting a slight speed boost whenever we jump. I wonder if that actually is a thing. Ah, okay, I disagree. Hold on, I could fuck with you, Sharky? But there's money to be made. Oh, and it splits into two. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is much more important. It's much more important. Uh, either way, I also need to just do-do. And the sharks will be kind enough to wait. Just like in Wind Waker. Red Rupee. Don't, what? Where am I going? I guess I got blown by something? Why was I going to the left there? Weird. It sucks when it's at the bottom of the screen like this, just because... Or when I'm going down. 
it sucks that the thing is on the bottom of the screen because I can only like hold so far down. So when I'm moving my mouse left and right, I end up kind of slowly drifting upwards just because my movement's not perfect, despite being a god gamer. By the way, we've made good money so far. I don't know if there's actually any penalty to getting hit. As, like, like, only if you lose all of it. Which you'd have to really fuck up to get hit, like, six times. This man's will not even worry if it's just, like, weird area to move through. Just take a hit and move on. Whoop! Who's ready for my fucking hundo run of this game, including all shit parts that are essentially impossible to get without a multiplayer function? Yeah. Woo! What? Fire? What? Oh, weird. Okay. I just wasn't firing. Where? Oh, Bato. Yeah, I could worry about that. However,. We're gonna say hi to this friend. Forceful boarding. Hello, I am in your house. Hello, I am breaking your pots and- <gasps> Oh my god, it's an entire collection of these dudes. Holy shit, there are multiple of them. How very strange. All of a sudden, I can't see a thing. Ho ho. Mm-hmm. How terribly rude of me. I'm a member of the Ho-Ho tribe. Yes, indeed. I came from the country of way away across the ocean looking for treasure. Certain items are treasures to the people way away, and I'll buy them from you. I'll buy them for far more than any of the general stores around here, too. Talk to all of them once. I cannot find them. Why not, indeed? My funny poet men. Pink coral. Interesting. So, do they each want to buy something different? I dropped that thing somewhere. Things like that are truly hard to find with the naked eye. Hmm. Put some clothes on, then. Ooh, the game's fighting me here. I'll save after this real quick, just be safe. Imagine it's auto-saving to some extent, but let's be safe. The land away where everyone whispers the words pink coral. Okay, d do they only buy pink coral? Or do they buy literally whatever? Do it just like it changes? Interesting. Make sure I save just to be safe. Then we're gonna... Oh, right, it's literally surrounded by ice. I cannot do that. Gotcha, understood. Um, I'm gonna, like, sail through here, see if I can find the golden frog. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, no, no shit. <laughs> Having one of my brilliant ideas? No, really, do you see it already? Chart a course around the... Uh oh, oh, okay. Well, that works too, I didn't actually think about that. Hey, this aisle's surrounded by ice. What if we just fire upon the aisle? Hopefully there are no civilians. Haha, -ha, that would be the worst. Surely this ice that hasn't been melted by the, like, tepid water of the ocean can just be brought down by shooting at it. <gasps> Way, oh, okay, I've been like very specifically waiting for one area of this game, but I couldn't remember if it was this game or if it was uh, Spirit Tracks, and I think this is the area I was originally thinking of. There is a funny puzzle here on the island that you must solve. However, I solved it completely by accident. I always remember that because I suck at the type of puzzle it is. Fuck off for two seconds, jeez. Did I clear all the ice? So this is gonna take a while. Go away. Go away. Okay, I should just actually click them and not like try to leave my shots or something. It seems to work better. Yeah, 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 I'm excited. Y'all ever have it where, like, this part of your hand here is up against your mouse, and it's like, ooh, bone pressing against something in a way it doesn't feel like it should be. I don't know if it's my hand position or what, but it's 
really pissing me off. Eyeball cat. Go away. Go away. Go away. Why don't you fucking drop a healing bar as well? Please, thanks. No? Okay. Green rupees are close, they're the same color. Hi. Hello. Hello, motherfucker. Well, if anything, this game's sailing is more involved than Wind Waker. In some ways. Whether it's a good thing or not, I guess is up to your discretion. And just like that, we have single-handedly reopened trade to this frozen hellhole island. Hey, I wonder what kind of bizarre creatures are waiting to welcome us, like Eskimos. <laughs> Were they lashed out at us? Either way, let's go. Well, they'll either welcome us or kill us, but there's only really one way to find out. And that's forcefully. Yep, okay, this is the exact island I thought it was. Looking at the map, I immediately recognize. Well, kid. I was wondering what it'd be like walking on a big ice chunk, and now I know it's real frosty. Oh god, yeah, I forgot how weird these fucking things look. I think it's the only game uh, these creatures show up in, too. As cool as it is, it warms my treasure-seeking heart. What a nice guy. You, guy, you came from out there, outside the ice? Hey, what's your deal? Never seen an Anuki before? You're gonna stare all day at us, or can you talk too? Well, you wanna know where the pure metals are? How should I know? Gotta take a question like that to Island Chief. Me? No idea. We're dealing with the goddamn Mafia again. You got a reputation for having sensitive hearts and refined speech, cause you know, that's what we're all about. Yeah, we're, we're dealing with Mafia again, fantastic. On the hill to the northeast. Now you say that, however. There's a lot of friends to talk to. It's a wooly... Uh, Yoshi's wooly world we live in, guy. Wooly and hairy and wild. Daydream for a second, they might get you. <gasps> Oof, you're gone just like that. Ghost! You never know. Wait, did they both say the same thing? Can I talk to the guy on the left? You guy, listen, I want to keep this between you and me. I've been dealing with a bit of a dilemma, if you know what I mean. I haven't had to deal with something like this in like a dick. Wait. Is this two guys acting as one? Oh, you wanna know what happened? Can't go tell any of that. Do these lips look like they blab? You're gonna have to ask the island chief. They they don't call me Johnny Loose Lips because I tell everybody everything. Hmm? I was about to say, surprised there's no shop there, but then I just remembered the island was surrounded by ice. Looking for the island chief's house? Yes. You know, here's an idea. Instead of asking me, go read the signs they got. God, I love these guys. Holy shit, they're assholes. Well, how do we keep from freezing a place like this? Come on, guy, toughen up and back a little blubber on you. <laughs> he sneezes. I love these guys. They're fucking funny. Even if this is kind of just the same generic island theme. You know, I'm actually really disappointed by it. This is just one of the generic island themes. You could have, like, a wintry, snowy song here. Oh, and I remember this... Ooh, yeah, this chief's house is really annoying to get to. You can kind of see on the map, it's... It's a bit of fucking annoying if you have to run back and forth. You, guy, I'm the island chief of the Anuki. You got a name, green guy? What'd you say? Sink Smileaboo? Sink Smileaboo. My dream's been having this trouble lately. Thought maybe you'd take care of it. Um... What's that you say? You're saying your name's actually Sink Smile. You sure about that guy? All right, all right, whatever you say. That's a fucking awesome beard. Anyway, you want to know about the Azerine, right? I scratch your fur, you scratch mine. Hey, forget about it. He's even making fucking clam chowder. Holy shit. Well, this might get a bit long. Make yourself real comfortable. We Nuki have got one enemy on this island. They're the Yuke. There's a lot of bad blood between our ancestors. So a hundred years ago, we made an agreement. The Nuki live in the West. Those hairy yuk look over in the east on the great ice field. 
That was the deal, but now some tricky yook has snuck over here. He has taken one of my villagers! Now he's pretending to be him and living with us, all comfortable like. And now we come to the part where I need something from ya. Find the yook who's impersonating a villager and kick him out. Okay. Yeah, alright. Go to the Nuki Estates up north. When you get there, you gotta figure out which guy is actually the Yuke. Yuke are liars, every one of them. This one will lie to you, so don't be gullible. Maybe find him and I tell you where Nazarene is. Yeah, so this is literally like, each one of those houses says, I suspect this person, this person, but this person's safe. It's that kind of puzzle. But you just, you basically submit your guess by going back into the ho a house a second time and talking to them again. Which you can just get it wrong over and over, so you can just go in and out of every house basically. But funny enough, I got it first try just randomly going back trying to rehear one guy's dialogue. What was that crazy island she blabbering about? Weird feeling he's not telling us the truth, we're here for the pure metals, we'll just have to be careful. You don't think he would do that? Lie? On the internet. Pure metal lands around? What are you doing asking me about something important like that? I love these guys. More or less sensitive on Noki. Why have these guys never come back in Zelda? The Yoop tribe that lives over in the ice fields to the east are crazed animals. Those beasts are so crazy, I don't even want to get into it that crazy. Damn, crazy. I'm guessing this is where I get the thing that lets me cross bullshit on poles. You, God, you hear the big news? One of those hairy Yooks sneaked over here. There? What? You know? Hey, maybe. You're the hairy you dressed up like one of us. Got me. What? You're you? Uh, really? You serious? Yeah? Oh, I think I gave him an aneurysm. Oh, fuck, I'm joking. Uh, buddy. Oh. Maybe I should have heeded the sign. Hey, well, take care, buddy. Good luck with the brain hemorrhage. Somewhat smart, Anoki. Nobody thought the trouble between the Anoki and Yuke was a good thing, so the Anoki and those hairy Yuke got together a hundred years ago under a little peace agreement. I see. Was it fair? Yeah, it was fair, yeah. Wait, hold on, see that option? Peace? It's a peace treaty, you know? Peace. Peace is like... I think it's like a piece of cake. Yeah. 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 It's enjoyable. It's pretty good. It only lasts for a short time, and it really does get you fat. It gets you very complacent and comfortable. And then while you're busy coming off the food coma, people are very likely going to backstab you, but... Otherwise, yeah. Uh, I'd say it's a good analogy. Because that Azerine pure metal thing was ours once, but then we got on a big spout, the Yuke in the East and got nabbed. It's like ages and ages ago. Grandpa used to rant all about it when we sat around the stew pot. My favorite family tradition, the stew potting. We Anuki and the Yuke have been rivals for I don't know how long. Gotta be honest, I don't even know how it all started. But we're rivals, so we must hate. Okay. You guy, jump on up on top of that peg thing right there, it's fine. What, you hate pegs? You hate pegging? They do something to you? Come on! Just, just, just try a little bit of pegging. Try a little bit of pegging. Okay. I almost fell on my antlers. Quite a move you pulled there. Very impressive. You jumped up on the bag. You had perfect balance. You jumped back down. Bada bing, bada boom. Ain't never seen nothing like it. Very impressive, young lad. I kind of went a little Scottish there at the end, but I will. I see that. I have to give you something. Here, take this. Whoa, incredible. You ain't doing any more tricked out stunts? I fucking love these guys so much. To the Great Ice Field. Hello. You guy, where do you think you're going? Not here, you know. Why? What do you mean, why? Use your hand, this cake goes to the Great Ice Field. I forgot how great these guys are. There's a whole pack of nasty you roaming around the Great Ice Field. What? How are they nasty? Oh, guy, you do not want to know. I do. I do. I do. Alright, anyways, let's get to the actual puzzle, maybe. Did I talk to you? Head north to go to the Noki Estates. Lots of schmancy houses there. Schmancy! Now you're speaking my language. 
All right. Fucking... I'm gonna try to actually do this properly because I do not remember which house is which. Also, I assume, yeah, you peg it there. Oh, geez, I wonder. Damn, I'm good. Damn, I'm good. Damn, I'm good. All right, read the sign. Dobo's house. All right, so part of this is we're going to want to take notes. Um, I'm just going to kind of draw down here and on top of the map. Dobo's in the bottom left. Okay. They call me Dobo. You're looking for the Yuk who's impersonating one of us, right? There's one easy way to tell you know the Yuk are liars. And Mazo's honest. The guy never lies. I just had to get that off my chest. Okay, so already we can rule out Dobo. Because if Yuk's are always liars, he and he just said Yuk's are always liars, then he just stated something true. And he said, what, Mozo? Say again? Mazo. Mazo's real honest, so we can probably trust m what Mazo says. There's Kumu here. If I could draw a K, that'd be good. Kumu. Wait, are you just a random guy? What's up? I'm Hintobo. I hear things I know people. I heard you're looking for the liar. Give you a hint, but it's not gonna come cheap. Nope. I just clicked no! Okay, better. Don't worry your head about guys who say that other guys don't lie. The guy who says that others are honest won't lie to you. Why you ask? Because then there would be two liars. Why again? There's only one liar, so knowing that, look at the ones who accuse others of lying, you'll find your liar. Dang. I, I very specifically clicked no, but whatever. That, that is sound logic. I believe. And Kumun? Yeah, the Yuki you're looking for is a liar, no doubt about it. I'd say either Mazo or Aru is lying to you. Okay. So Kumu blames... points to Mazo or Aru. Mazo or Aru. Fofo. Hold on. Fo. I do actually really like these type of puzzles. I think they're fun. My name's Fofo. You heard that right? I'm sure you know this, but the Yuk, they do nothing but lying. Gumo never lies. Just saying. Alright, so. Fofo is clear. Mazo. Uh, I probably could actually wrote all this up top, but oh well. Mazo. Call me Mazo. I don't care if you believe me, but me and Dobo only tell the truth. Just thought I'd say that. Yeah, so Dobo backed up Mazo. Mazo backed up Dobo. Kumo suspects Mazo. Which now casts suspicion on Ku or Kumu suspects Mazo, which casts suspicion on Kumu. I'm, I'm not gonna bother writing the last down. This is Aru. My name's Aru. Between you and me, Kumu is lying. I'll leave it at that. Kumu said you and Mazo. So yeah, honestly, this is pointing to Kumu right now. Kumo's house. I wonder if this puzzle's always the same. My name's Gumo. Either Fofo or Aru is gonna be lying to you. Okay. Literally nobody's mentioned him and he's just calling out other people randomly. We know it's not Fofo, so I'm gonna guess it's Kumu. What? No way me saying I'm the suspect. You don't think I'm the Yuk in disguise? Yes. Get back, I said stay back, I'm innocent. If you come at me, I swear I'll have to protect myself. Look at me closer, think about what you're doing. Don't be stupid. I have to do is say you made a mistake. Book him! Told you I'm innocent. Why? Why? Please stop. I can't take all the- Keep it up, I might pass out. Ooh! Ah! Uh, my heart! King dizzy! So scared! Ha! Ha! Hee! Ah. Uh, okay. Never mind. Huh. Interesting. 
Dobo didn't cast suspicion on anybody, right? So it's either Fofo or Rue, I guess. Well, they're all pointing at each other, but then this motherfucker back here wasn't even ever mentioned. That actually almost makes him more suspicious now, doesn't it? So bottom left and... Hold on, I can go ahead and just, uh, like... Clean all that out, because I don't like my maps being messy. I can already say it's none of these three, so it has to be some of the ones on top. Well, no, that's not right. It could still be Fofo. I guess there's really no penalty for getting it wrong, though. Uh, two people suspected... No, two people suspected Aru. Then nobody... <laughs> Yeah, I guess if nobody suspects the guy on the left of here, I guess it's a Rue. If two people suspected him, what's wrong with you? Wrong, boy. I've got nothing much to say. The boy gets everything so wrong. Oh. Really? Can I, can I be more mean to him? I mean, wrong, boy. Hey, guy, I mean, wrong, boy. It's you, Sink. You don't look like it. Heh. <laughs> What's wrong with you, wrong boy? Uh, hmm. Okay. I, I guess the logic then is... They're all pointing fingers at each other. Some of them are saying they're trustful, but this guy is just pointing fingers and nobody even ever talks to him? I don't know. I, I literally just came back in to talk to you. I didn't even accuse you. Actually, come to think of it, what if the guy outside is lying? Hey. Well, well, if it isn't wrong... Oh! Oh, because I got it wrong now, they won't listen to me until, like, I go back to the chief or something? Is that what's up? Uh... Okay, that's why they're calling me wrong, boy. <laughs> I didn't realize. Go back to the chief, reset, and I just... What, does the puzzle change again? That'd actually be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind having, like, a new set of it. You got it wrong? That's embarrassing. See, you got excited, made a bad choice, you settled down yet? Go investigate again. Truth is, wasn't expecting you to get fooled so easy. Hey, You should get your head on this mystery and off the Azerine. Uh, okay. Well, to be fair, casual player probably would have walked back into one of the houses to rehear a hint, then gone, No, you're accusing me! But you can also just back out at that point. Um... It really could be any of these three. They, they all kind of pointed to each other, but none of them pointed to this guy. And if they're only... if <sighs> Two of them pointed to Aru. Come to think of it. So that means... They couldn't be lying. Because that would mean there's two liars, so it has to be Aru. Right? Yeah, no, it has to be Aru. I actually just put that one together. What are you doing looking at me? I'm a suspect. I'm a you. It's you. Get back. Get back. Come and be able to protect myself. Don't get me closer. Book him. Hey, how'd you figure it out? Buy an amazing costume. Oh, you're you, you, Oh, okay. Well, fuck. I didn't even know. Do anything stupid and try to fight. Turn yourself in. Be quiet if you yell any more with that squeaky voice. It drives me wild. That's a fun logic puzzle, though. That, that's a fun little logic puzzle. I'm yellow boy, don't taste anything like delicious fruit. Whoa. Eh, of course not. Well, I could try and make a run for it. I guess I might as well give in now that I've been caught. Wild monster's like, yeah, okay. Well, I suppose I'm giving the law. Show of good faith, I'll show you something good. Wait right there. Don't move. Smile. Oh. Very funny. Oof. Ouch. Oof. What happened? That was crazy. When all the trouble finally Yuki blew us away. Don't do anything, we'll just get away. Not fair. Let's go talk to the... Aunt. Oh man, if only we went back in and stabbed him. But yeah, I follow the logic now. The logic being something along the lines of people who uplift others and uh, say that they're not lying would imply that... To say that they're a liar would imply there's two liars. Because if person A says person B is not lying, 
and they're lying, that would then mean they're lying about the other person being truthful, meaning the other person's actually a liar, thus two liars. Then the other part of it was two different people suspected Aru, nobody else had two suspicions on them. So if two people suspected Aru, that has to mean they're both telling the truth, because there's only one liar. What already? Yeah, I did it. You scanned that you right out of the village. Now the people can rest easy and sip on their savory stew in peace. But uh, don't you feel a little mad about getting blown away like that? Do I want to get revenge? Maybe. Yeah. Murder. Okay, I love that fairy going full murder psycho. Of course, nobody can just a little revenge. Give him the old Italian handshake. Gonna open up the cave of the Great Ice Field to the east, the Euchre over there. Go murder them. Ha ha. Trust me. Trust me. Wouldn't it be funny? Hey, isn't it weird that he inconvenienced you? Oh, mm hmm. Not working on the chief value. Yeah, sure. D I don't know why I have to ask permission, but okay. Wait, hold on. I want to see. Do you comment on my detective work? The hairy beast of the great ice field just don't ask. No. Well, fair enough. I do like how very, uh, sus, as the kids say, this whole thing is. It actually has some intrigue to it. Just <laughs> fun. Do not erase the Uke's weakness is really simple. The Uke breathe deeply. Inhale, mouth, uh, throw. Most of them have been wiped off. Jeez, I fucking wonder. Hmm. Hmm. It's almost like I just fought fucking Dodongo. Really does cause you to ponder. Hello. Goodbye. Weird weakness for like a basic ass Yeti design, eh? Wait, is there something back there? Or is that just the ocean? I swear I saw like a red rupee down the bottom left here. Nah, I'm crazy. That'd be out of bounds, I assume. Uh, I don't really need to fight these guys, though, do I? Can I just run from them? I assume they'll give up eventually. Do the winds blow in random directions? Or is it on, like, a cycle, maybe? Because if it's on a cycle, I could probably use that to navigate. Except, no, there's no way you can do that here. Oh, there's ice blocking this all up front, so I probably need to murder. Yeah, all right. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm probably not gonna be able to kill both of them. Oh, maybe. Okay, oh, no, that's done last for a while. But not long enough. Yeah, they just block all frontal attacks. There's no way you can circle around them, I bet. Maybe with, like, the boomerang, you can stun them. Hello. Temple of Ice Glory is home to the pure metal stands ahead to open the path to six gardens of the great ice. Okay, yeah, literally just kill the monsters here and the, the way the way opens up one. Come on. Come on, hit him. There you go. I could have told you that one for free. Mmm, yummy carcinogenic bombs. Someone else? Hello. Ow! Go! Oh, there's already one from me. Oh, he hit me, so I dropped the bomb I, I pulled out, I guess. Or, like, I left-clicked right then or something. Funny. Now, how exactly the temperature of those pillars were tied directly to their life force? I don't think I want to know. That sounds like some powerful juju. But could I harness it to my own ends? No, the ice temple begins up. Hey! Oh, don't start sucking. Oh, okay. Oh, no, don't start sucking. Oh, damn it. Ow. Okay, he does that, then he sucks, right? right. No, suction. Ha ha. Don't die in one cycle. I guess he's just brown to show that that was the one I met in the town. 
need. Oh, and you also did the swing, so I guess that's like partly mechanically different. All right, cool. Hey, okay. must be the Temple of Ice. There's a blizzard howling outside, so it's pract practically warm in here. At least we'll get out of the cold. Well, it's not a good look for the Temple of Ice to be warm, but you do you. Can I grab these? No, I guess I need the grappling hook or whatever to pull them. Uh, then wrong. You. There. Good. Oop. Well, if you're gonna have me have the boomerang out anyways, may as well. Hey, bomb time. Okay, this dungeon has a thing for bombs, duly noted. This dungeon really has a thing for bombs, duly noted. Which likely means it has a thing for bomb chews. Now, I actually do want to try. Clearly you're meant to bomb chew this. However, what are the odds I could... Just do this instead. Easy. I'd rather spend a bomb than a bomb chew. Yeah, yeah. Come on, there you go. Weird room. A weird floor, rather. Just a combat room on the other end. Oh, I guess it's like a ranged combat room for the grappling hook. Using like a test. Uh. Does touching these hurt me? Yes, it does. Okay, that's exactly what I thought would happen. You fool. You are a fool. Uh. Hmm. Oh, wait, there's a bridge to the south. I didn't realize. I thought I could hit that from up on the stairs. Actually, wait, can I hit it from here? Yeah, funny. Neat. Getting used out of pegging, even before the grappling hook. Oh god, I just realized there. It just connected me. Ice physics with the touch control system. Oh, yeah, okay, this is gonna be fun. Uh, f what? Mm, why am I struggling with this? Slowly. There you go, pal. Is that a welder ant? Is that a welder mask wearing ant? To what end? Can I pay you to do some welding for me? Oh god, levers again. <laughs> Not bad. I wonder what happens if you open that and you already have a, a red, like, both potions. So just give you money instead. Are the contents of chest randomized? I just thought about that. Or like some of them? <gasps> Pull the four levers. Draw a line due north. Pull the lever in that location last. Okay. Uh, I can do that. That's a decent enough line. I like when it makes you use your map. It's fun. Oh, geez, okay. Probably good on splice now. Hello. Are you just chest? Yeah. I think I literally saw the chest. I'm good, buddy. Pull the four levers. First, pull the lever on the far left. Okay. So, just say far left one. I'll remember that, he says, hopefully. The nice thing is I don't even have to find all of the stone tablets. I just need to find all but one. Pull the four levers to open your way. The one in front of the tongue is second. Okay, this is where I'm going to say... I'm going to do like a little tongue smiley face. Put a two next to it. All right, that's pretty good. I think there's like five of them. So if I get two more, I could brute force it. Or one more, I could brute force it. It's like one, two, three. No, there's only four. Okay. So I'm going to do do do. Uh, in front of the tongue. And then the line was last, right? Oh, yeah, easy, cool. 
Neat. These dungeons are so cute. These dungeons are just so cute. You know, if anything, I would love to see modding for this game if, if like, people could make custom dungeons. Like, somebody put out, like, hey, here's the tile sets, the triggers, the mechanics, the enemies. Slap them, like, just, you know, like a dungeon creator so people can make their own Phantom Hourglass dungeons. Just little bite-sized dungeons like Mario Maker. You're on a timer, okay. Uh, how many partners do you have? Just this one? Oh, shit. Lucky. Let's see. Oh, God, God damn it. Damn it. No, okay, it's more than that. Uh, I probably need some bomb chews. Mm-hmm. Okay, I... It would be cool if I could have seen that myself, but... Fair enough. Yeah, okay, that's a weird one. I guess, like... I don't know if there's a fourth one, so I'm not gonna fuck with it right now. Oh, really? Come on, try again. Really? Try again. Why are you throwing so far that down? Brother. Close. There you go. Uh, okay, I'm not blocked off from anywhere, I don't think. With the reds up, they, they just sort of make little obstacles. Uh, get off. What? Oh, I guess you can't fall off those. Interesting. Oh, I forgot I wanted to upgrade my thing, right. <laughs> I kind of just saw the frozen island and went, hmm, new location. How did I get up there again? Right, right, right from here. I really just wanted to get the golden frog, though. I did not want to do an amazing amount of backtracking. I guess maybe the red's there to keep you from, like, cheesing with a... Uh, bomb chew or something. So you wouldn't be able to throw a... Like, a bomb chews do have a limit for how far they can go. So wouldn't be able to navigate all that. Stay on the blue tile and follow the numbers below. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh... Two, two... That's simple enough. One, two, three. You see, that makes sense as a one, two, three, four. Because it puts it in like a square. It makes sense. That worked. Cool. All right. I'm still gonna cope and see it about that. Quite a lot, actually. Fuck. Debbie. Not demo. fun floor. The entire third floor. You don't actually ever get the maps in these dungeons. I just thought about that. So do I know, like... Yeah, I know, but I just want to see how many floors total are there. I guess only three that I know of? Huh. Interesting. And some floors can also go from, like, the third floor to, like, sixth floor, stuff like that, so... Targeting tells me to racially profile this one first. Ow. Oh, he instantly broke out. The hell was that? Kill him first. There we go. All right. Easy. I wasn't sure if they had both stuck at the same time, so I wasn't really going to try for it. But it worked. 
grappling hook. Oh, I was wrong. No, you do the combat on this side, then use the grappling hook to go across. Right there. Grappling hook. Right? Grappling hook. Light objects will be pulled towards you, you'll be pulled towards heavy. Bless. That only leaves us with one more item to get, and I actually don't, for the life of me, remember what it is. Which is surprising. I, I, well, I guess it's the hammer. Yeah, no, I guess it's a hammer. Or whatever it is that sets off those things we saw in uh, the Ocean Palace. Oh. Small, but effective item. Well, I like it. Oh, and it does decent damage. Oh my god, yo. Okay, that's not bad. Shit. There's just some tiny, tiny enemies. Uh, I can kind of deal with that. Go away. There we go. Uh, looks like the ones on the side are already pulled, I guess? Oh, come on. Oh, I what? Hold on. Let me not use LNR here. There we go. I don't know what that, but it seemed like with LNR, it's just kind of freaking out. There we go. Oh, yeah, and you can, like, draw between multiple objects, too, I believe. Just looking at the UI there, at least. Neat. Smelt the ice behind me? Or do I have to now double round? Nah, I guess I gotta double round somewhere. Okay. Cool. Oh, wait, no, duh. Never mind. This is fun. Now that I have this, backtracking is going to be a big thing because, like, I don't think I've seen a single place that needs the hammer other than the Ocean's Temple. Oh. So I can basically clear up any other island at this point that I know of. Can you figure it out? You have figured it out. Good work. And you got 200 whoople for it. Which I think just put me over a thousand. If not, I'll probably be over a thousand here in a bit. Obvious bomb spot. Really don't need all these resources at this point. Kind of capping out, but it's just fun. Uh, you just... I'm gonna assume you're a chest dude, right? Oh. Wait. I, I didn't read that, no. Say again. Frost... Wait, shit, say again? Stand before the Gray and Ominous Tightrope Challenge. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. It just takes some time... Actually, wait, can I just hit that from here? Oh, not right away. Yeah, here we go. So if I needed to hit something here, which I do, but I think the ice is in the way, yeah. Get around to that. Oh, and... Oh, shit, wait, could I have bombed this from the other side earlier? Huh. Okay. To what end, I don't know, but neat. I don't want you in my life. Go away. I don't want you in my life. Go away. There we go. Oh, right. You're technically, like, higher up when you do that. I guess that's part of what... Mmm. It, because it's on an edge, do I need to type rope this one? Oh, no, okay, just pull the right angle, it works. Okay, maybe not consistently, though. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Sorry about that, I set up my... <laughs> I set up my Mayflash Dolphin Bar, uh, again, to... Well, it's like a new sticky adhesive, and I used the stand this time, put it on top of my monitor. And it was, it's been up there for like 12 hours, and just now it decided not too much weight falling back. Which, granted, the top of my mod PC monitor isn't like well suited for the shape, but. Pretty go. Yeah. 
That's annoying. The nice thing is, the, I guess it's just the stand I have to worry about that has the adhesive on it, so I can leave the flash bar off for now. Or dolphin bar off. Oh well. I was trying to play uh, some WiiWare games earlier with it, and it's working out pretty well. Just playing uh, Crystal Chronicles, My Life as a King, and a little bit of uh, My Life as a Dark Lord, I think it's called. I played My Life as a King as a kid. Oh, pff, right, okay, I didn't know what I expected. My Life as a King is actually a pretty fun game. It's uh, very simple and kind of repetitive, but... It is a pretty relaxing game, and it just kind of has some... It's almost just like a cheap indie game you'd find on Steam. TBQH. But it's got some nice quality around it, just like some... Sim, almost elements, fantasy sim kingdom bullshit. Oh, I can pull your welding mask off. You know what? Didn't even consider that. Can I get over to there? Not right now. Just gotta melt the ice first. Right, different tongues at different lengths, you have to pull them out too. Oh, it's a, right, wait, the farther you pull it out, the more time you get. Uh, okay, I need to pull it out a little farther, gotcha. Now it's coming back to me. Slightly. I don't know if he even has a max. Okay, no, the maximum limit is that wall. Gotcha. I was panicking getting over to it. It's like, do, do I even have enough time? Because it's beeping quickly. Definitely did have enough time, though. Hold on. What do you got? Key? Figured that lever was a little too obvious to be a secret. Why does this block need to be here? Actually, yeah, why does this block need to be here? Can I pull it? What is it doing here? Like, what, if I somehow came from the other side? No, I could push it down. Hmm. It's not like I can push it into here. I don't even need to hold the button down. That's... That's one of those things where I'm looking at, like, is that meant to be, like, oh, in case the uh, the player somehow gets to the other side in an unintended way. It, it lets block them, but, like, it's not doing anything. Huh. Uh, how many sheet do I have right now? Two more wisdom, three more courage. I would love if I could get at least one of the other ones. Leveled up. Oh, shit, right, I forgot it blows up right away. Why did I throw another... You know, fuck, whatever. Wait, I could just use my boomerang. What? Why am I so bomb happy today? I was playing Pyro, or excuse me, uh, Demo Man in TF2 earlier. The lock and load is fun. I suck at aiming, so having my, uh, shots vanish into the aether if they don't connect sucks, but I rationalize it as a force to get good. The game is going to force me to learn how to hit my shots and not just cheese around it, not just pray they hit for once. There we go. Where are we going with this? Mmm... Suspect. No, oh, okay. And... Are you just a hint on, like, hitting the, the things? Okay. That too. So... Do I just need to be at the ice eye and then, like, throw a boomerang around? Can I do that from there? 
So I can have the tight. Oh, <laughs> tight ropes up. Actually, I wonder. Can you catch as you're falling? Hold on. I want to like run off ledge. Ah, okay. No, I don't think so. Oh, hold on. I almost did some there. Part of the problem is I'm I'm holding L and R and I'm letting off. So. Nah, it's probably hitting the wall on the way down, this game does seem to have some amount of depth to it. Good job! Okay, this is exactly how I won to lose all my life, by my own accord. I'm not gonna let any monster kill me if I can kill me myself. I'm the best at killing me. The best who's ever been. Oh, yeah, okay, see, I didn't think I could actually reach all those from here. I'm gonna wait for that. Uh, hopefully the order doesn't matter. What? How did you miss? Wait, it's gonna hit the wall. There we go. <laughs> How did you miss? Uh. Yeah, I doubt how I doubted how far the boomerang could uh, truly see, and I I doubted the fact that you have to. See the arrow for it to exist. Right. Understood. Uh, this thing's probably gonna be on a timer, so let's get all the way out here. I'm gonna lick ya. I'm gonna lick ya. Oh shit. Let's be a little quick here. I guess that's why there's just a bunch of, like, disparate platforms out here connecting one to another rather than just, okay, here is progress. Fuck. Bit of a skill check, and I'm currently failing it. I'm currently really failing it. Wow. Jesus. Okay. Nice of it to stop the ticking when I'm past. <laughs> Doesn't just rub it in my face. Ant or spider. Actually, I think it's a spider. That's no good. Remember, kill your local spiders. Oh, you can lock on this. Now, I could set up a tightrope between those two, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I think that's actually a bad idea. Here, what we got? Uh, if it's more of the monkey men. Does the grappling hook do anything to them? No, it does literally nothing. Huh. Interesting, you give like a unique, not necessarily signature, but like a unique enemy specifically for this dungeon. And it doesn't at all interact with the dungeon's item. It's not a bad thing necessarily, it's just interesting. Not a fucking timer? Oh, no, the... The sound of Link's footsteps on whatever that surface is sounds like the freaking timer. It scares the hell out of me. Oh, yeah, I didn't see you. Yeah, I didn't see you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very cool. Sometimes we let happy little mistakes happen. Uh, what? Chest? He's leap farther than he ever thought possible. He must do is use rope in new and creative ways. No, okay. Oh, right. You see, now that's a, that's a hint stone I am perfectly okay with. Woo! That's fun. That is so cute. I don't even care if it's really that amazing a mechanic. That is just really fun and cute. I like that. I like that a lot. Does that also melt the ice or to melt the ice elsewhere? Okay, fair. Uh... Is that in range? Yes. Yes. Just for a 20 rupee. Whoops. <laughs> right, I can't jump that far, though. On an, uh, unassisted. Even assisted, I might not be able to do that. And... Hello. Number treasure three. Huh. Nah. 
I wonder if in like a rando it'd be a good idea to leave that feature in. Like, I'd, let's be real, everyone will probably be using a, a tracker of some sort, so probably not. It'd be better if they were just repurposed as like, hints. Like they are in the other Zelda games. Still. It would be like a nice newbie feature, maybe. Nice feature for me. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, oh, can I go up with this? God damn it. There we go. Oh, sick. Then I just have to stop myself from sliding away. See, now that's almost like a use of ice physics I'm fine with. It's part of the puzzle element is to keep yourself from fly... Mm, okay. Well, wish I saw that first. That's just mean. <laughs> hey, you made it all the way up. Maybe, uh, you know, on your, your DS, your little baby hands were struggling with these inputs, huh? You had to fight against ice physics? Oh, this is, this is a hard time. Oh, you didn't see the eye right away and you jumped down because you thought that was progress because you saw a button earlier? Ah, uh, cope and see it. This is a meaty dungeon, though. I like this one. I like this one a lot. And the pre-game for the dungeon was not that bad. Aside from the, uh... Oh, I see exactly what ones we do here. Uh, aside from the breaking the ice from the outside, the pre-game was not, or pre-dungeon was not that bad. Here, jump off. Oh, oh, wait, no. Can't jump off the ropes, you just have to. There we go. I like the Anuki, it was a fun little quest. Getting to the dungeon was not really interesting or not anything, but it's painless. Uh, well, I wish I could see the arrow, so it could exist. There we go. Okay. Good enough. A shit ton of arrows used, but it's probably more here. Right? Yeah. What do we got? Key. I guess if we're like this game in a rando, it'd probably be really fair to throw checks behind money, given how there's really not that many important checks in this, unless you're also doing, like, keys are randomized outside of dungeons, in which case I guess there are more. So having a bunch of stuff hidden behind money would probably not be a bad idea, just so, hey, ooh, I'm getting treasures I can sell. I also see the two dudes in the corner there. More friends? Oh, it's just these. Or keys, I should say. Right, hello? Damn you. Stop swinging. That's my job. It's my job to click on you, mister. Goodbye. You know, come to think of it, part of the reason a lot of these dungeons are so bite-sized and the combat are also really bite-sized is probably just because this was a handheld game. I don't know why that didn't occur to me sooner. I'm realizing now it's like, oh, yeah, of course everything's bite-sized because you pick up and play this on the go. You play a little bit while you're in your car. Make a little bit of progress. Move forward. No, not you. Uh, come back a later day. I keep forgetting that people who play, like, handheld aren't like me and just go, Okay, I really enjoy this game. I'm gonna sit at home and play it, at least as I was when I was a kid. I'm gonna sit on my couch with my DS plugged in and play the shit out of, uh, 358 over two days. In, like, one or two sittings. Something in me one day changed, and I just, I just couldn't do that shit anymore. I couldn't even play that shit when uh, I'm out on the road. Okay, please don't be on a timer. Begging of you, but looking at this 
path. Makes me think. Oh, wait, no, I need to do this. Cool. Oh, I was gonna say, looking at this path, it probably wants me to walk back on slippery slope bullshit. So it means it's gonna put on a timer, but you can also just leave. You can also just no clip away. There's nothing really stopping you. So wait, how many floors were here in total? B2, B1, one floor. Huh. Alright, and then I guess the boss is its own floor. It's probably the most floors I've seen in a single dungeon so far. Neat. Definitely a highlight dungeon. Really enjoyed it. Honestly, sad that the next dungeon's probably gonna be the last of just the ordinary dungeons. Then it's gonna be like end game. End game one, end game two, maybe. Maybe two. Uh, do some bombs. Those are not bombs. Do some bombs. Those are not bombs. I could use some bombs. Those are not bombs. All right, well, good enough. Make it safe here to be safe. Not that it has anything to do with me dying. Just it's been a while since I've saved. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, isn't this like a Hydra fight? You have to like pull them to you or something? Oh, <gasps> yeah. Twin Oh yeah, these guys are so cool! You like the little fork tongue, spoon tongue, gliok. These guys are sick. I need to remember. Oh wait, do I need to like Oh shit, I think I need to like reflect back at him. Aw oh, damn. Ow shit. Oh, yeah, you need to, like, angle it. That's right. So I need to angle it this way so that it hits the, the red brother. Oh, and then they go into to break the thing. Yeah. It's like, now I'd want to... Oh, wait, no. They telegraph pretty far in advance who's hitting what. Ow, shit. Or who's going to be attacking next, I guess. Nope. 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 Oh shit, they're pissed. Bye! Oh shit, get up, get up. They almost look like enemies from- that could be in, uh... Oh shit. They look like enemies that could be in, uh, what do you call it? Sly Cooper. Very... Not sequitur of me, but I don't know. The design is just very cool like that. I'm curious if breaking my own line makes them fuck off sooner. Oh, and their shields are broke. Whoop. Almost broken, hold on. Only the red guy could go now, right? Yeah, okay. So we got a lot to account for that. Cool. Now I pull you in and give you love taps. Hello, friends. Oh, goodbye. Out of the water even hurts you here, but. Obviously, the ice will. Uh, no. Oh well. Be worse. Hello, friends. It is smacking time. Welcome to Smackintosh. Now, the question is, how do I? Gr oh, they took the two pegs out. Okay. I grab you. Like this? Yeah, there we go. I remember. I can't just pull them to me. They're heavy. I gotta uh, ground them to something. Otherwise, they're gonna do their super jujitsu move. I probably had to pull them to the right peg as well. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. I'm guessing. No, they're doing a synchronized dance. I wonder if it's actually one creature, or like two. I'm not sure if uh, the intro said that. Get off. That shit. And we're good. Surprised the cold water isn't hurting me. Good. 
good. Good. Do they have a shared health pool? I guess that's also a good question. No, they do not. Okay, each head has its own health. And this one's about dead. This one's about to die. Ouch. Well, is what I would have said. Hey, can I get another try? Yeah, thank you. Try it before the fall. And we're done. Whew. Cool. That was a fun dungeon. I like that one. This game really shines in its dungeons. Outside of a little bit of baby hand holding. I should probably eat these beef jerky sticks. I've been sitting here for like half a week. Before they go bad, maybe. I still love that expression he has. Two minutes. Two minutes is all I have to spare for you, Chris. Oh shit, the upper screen even like shifts the camera angle to match the chest. Did it do that in the other ones? It probably did. I'm probably insane for not noticing. That's neat. That's neat. Nothing cool back there, right? No. Just free treasure? Azerine. You got the pure metal you're looking for. You did it, sink smile. Things got pretty wild and wooly on this island, but it was all worth it. All right, simple and sweet. <laughs> no, no big story, like, cutouts here. Honestly, the, the inhabitants of the isle barely had anything to do with this. They basically just stopped me from going until I solved a riddle for them. <laughs> I love that the Onatuki had, like, nothing to do with this at all. In fact, what do you even have to say? Looks like you got your hands on the Azza. Nice going, guy. Do, would you even care about it? You, guy, I'm a Roo. No, seriously, the real deal. So here's the story. There I was, sipping my stew, when all of a sudden a crazy yuke bagged me. It was when you exposed the yuk who's pretending to be me, but that barrier thing that was keeping me locked up dropped and I escaped. So, uh, thanks for that. Anything else? If you're looking for a thank you gift, you're out of luck. Or are you looking for a compliment? Yes! Well, then get back. Ready? Here comes your fancy compliment. Holy shit, I'm so ready. Here's something amazing, you know that- That's exactly what I needed right now. Thank you, guy. That's my new favorite friend. Uh, sure, let's go this way. Probably a bunch of chests and shit up here. Actually, hold on. Is there anything on this side I can get to? Negative. All right, just make sure. Cool. And with this one weapon, or er, cool. We now have a lot of movement opened up. My favorite kind of tool. Is there something out there? Huh. Just making sure. It's a weird little spot for... Why is this a chain here? Huh? I, hmm. Is there a reason this is a chain? Oh, shit, whatever. Didn't seem to go anywhere in particular. Okay. Weird. Come on. There you go. Is there actually even anything up here? Well, there's that. Before I drop down, let's... Yep, there we go. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna say, wait, is there some long, convoluted way to get to that? No. Nice. Good mini. And there's nothing up here I can get to right now. Right. As long as I can go back to that other chest, I can keep going this way. Oh, wait, ducked. Just be careful not to actually walk off an edge. Cool. Fair 
enough. Not amazing, but I'll take it. Uh, what's over here? Nothing? Oh, I guess this is just like a way up from the ground. Okay. So even if I fall down, there's a way back up. Good. Without going all the way back, that is. Just want to get on you. Come on. Uh, you can't even, like, just have the grappling hook hit it. You have to actually have the lock on target. That's fair, I guess. A uh, One I needed right now, or particularly one of the ones I wanted right now, but you know what? I'll take it. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? We love the cold. It's one of the few advantages of being this hairy. <laughs> fair. How are you doing? I ate so many bombs, my stomach. Ooh. Are these the guys that were attacking me? Are we just on good terms now, or what? Oof, my head hurts. It's like my brain was being controlled by some evil force. Oh. Sort of awkward, but sorry if I tried to eat you. Ah, uh, okay, so the funny, goofy dragon was controlling them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Likely story. You know what, I'll take it if it means that, uh, canonically, they were not trying to bore me. That is a fine take by me. You know about Harrow Island, right? Huh? It's a small island west of here. Where did that fact come from? I didn't even knew I knew that. I'm smarter than I thought. You know what, every now and then we surprise ourselves. Our brains, they manage to work, it's crazy. Does it say the same thing? I'm just curious. Uh, I almost thought, I thought it'd be funny if, like, they scribbled the weakness back on. Just be like, eh, good faith. Hey, what's up? You got no fur antlers? Don't go catching a sniffle out here. Yeah, did you see that? The Harajuku saw it, right? Oh, they're still talking about that? Do they even know what happened? With respect to someone who's jumped on a peg of three. Ooh, a bold, fearless even. Hey, a bada bing, bada boom. One hard nosed Azerang getting animal, oorah. Uh. Talk to the chief real quick, then go up to the states for some items there. Yeah, it was good. Me? Nice of you to ask, but I'm fine. Oh. Okay, he's got his clam chowder. I'll leave him to that. In that case, what do you got for me? Damn it. There we go. Obvious dig spot. Ooh. 300. Okay. Well, kind of hoping for a little more than that. Uh, oh, no, it's kind of like 500 or something, but I won't say no. Oh, missed you completely. Hey. Draw a line between here and the island chief's house. Someone buried something in the middle, but who knows if it's still there. Here in the island chief's house. Okay. A line between here and the house. Well, that's a few places it could be, but okay. I guess if we're looking at specifically just this map, then it's just that one corner. Uh, nice. I'll try again. There you go. That was good. You know the old wayfarer lives in Banana Island. He buried something nice in front of his hut. Strange old men do strange things. Oh, cool. All right, good to know. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna actually write that note down if I can. Menu. You yeah, had to go see chart. Uh, banana is. Wait, no, it's this big one. Wait, can I? Oh, uh, I can't like zoom in on the island. Can I do it? Oh, I can do it from here. Okay. Uh, just put a circle there. Oh shit, stop that. <laughs> Alright, and that's basically that. Just find where this one thing is buried and we're good to go. I think there might be something else down there? I could be wrong. I need you. You. Hmm. 
line between here and the chief's house. This game has some weird ideas of, like, line drawing, so I, I assume it means something along this line. This is probably not it, though. Unless it's down here. Nah. Uh... It's right here. In front of the sign. Ooh, in front of the sign. Okay, cool. I'm gonna guess that was it. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that was it, otherwise it's gonna take all day to dig. <laughs> Neat. Worried it's like a sea chart or something more interesting, but oh well. I'll probably end up just looking up where any of the missing spirit, whatchamacallits, are by the time I reach endgame. Because I kinda want a hundo, or at least want a hundo minus ship parts. Wisdom. Uh, that leaves me at nine, right? Yeah, okay. Funny. Very funny. It's probably one I can buy somewhere. I think Beetle might be selling one. Look at you, kids. They finally got the pure metal. Woohoo! There's no time to celebrate as if all our troubles are over. I won't rest until we find those three pure metals, and we're off to sea. Aye, aye. Love you, Captain. <laughs> it almost feels like at this point the writing team, like, checked out. Like, they, they had fun with this one, but they were pretty checked out. You know, I don't blame them. Uh... Let's head this way, just catch Beetle. And see if we can see that island the guy was mentioning. Or the Golden Frog, either would be great. In fact, both would be great. 520, 550. Take it back. Oh, these fucking eyeball things are so annoying. They're like just annoying enough to try to hit. They come really consistently. Oh, is it leaving? The fuck? Oh, okay, bye. This is scared it off. Oh, hello. Too far. Uh, d sure. Do I just do that? Wait, no. Really? Go on. I wish it showed my vision cone when I was drawing around. That'd be helpful. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's an island, alright. There it is. Okay. Have that ready. I figured there might be an island up here. Way too much dead space not to be. Ignore the slight left lean that this line takes towards Beetle. I'm hoping, secretly, I I'm just hoping it gets me around in bitch face. But uh, yeah, at this point, I doubt it. You know what? Yeah, let let's throw bitch face on top of these sharks, huh? <sighs> okay. Well, let's just dodge shit. You know what? Actually, let's fucking stop. Get it over with. I don't think this even, like, progresses as a storyline or anything. It's just fucking annoying. Hi. Okay, please do the, the correct move three times in a row. Alright, that's one. Wrong. Two. No, wrong. 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 Do the correct move. Oh my, what? She was literally in the recovery animation, I disagree. Can I just throw a barrel at her? Oh, she just doesn't care there. What? How fucking fast? What? Bullshit. I'm going bullshit on that one. Please just do the right move. I can't even use items on her. Come on. I might look up and see if there's like a 
good strategy for just dealing with her, like, manipulation or anything. Like, nagging her, maybe. Dude, come on. Okay, thank you. Fuck's sake. What? Oh my fucking god, finally. Jeez. If there was a way to hit her outside of that one move, it wouldn't be that bad. Otherwise, I can just stand there and she takes her time. This belonged to a friend. It was a hundred rupees. I'm not giving it back. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I guess this becomes decent money. That's the point. Is the Golden Frog really not out here? The Master owes me one. I deserve a fucking teleport at this point. Yes, wisdom. All right. Give. Bye. Cool. Starting collection screen. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the the bomb bag upgrade. I don't think I need shoes as much as I need normal bombs. And the rest of my mind, hold on to. Fucking cheapskate. Gonna prep a members card just for you. Oh, the more you buy, the more points you'll earn. The happier you'll be. Here my covers. Uh, well, I would like to have had that sooner. Oh, I guess he counts what I spent to... Okay, 220 points on a silver membership. Sure. As long as that, like, 1,500 purchase I made counts towards it, which... You know, those numbers add up, I guess. Uh, I don't know where the fuck to look for the frog, so I'm just going to... Right, that's the symbol. Is that good enough? Cool, alright. Hey Beetle, you wanna take a ride? You wanna hitch a ride with me? See you later, fucker. Alright. And we can finally upgrade our stupid fairy friends. Who have ceased to speak. Since early game, they've just been living inside my pants playing poker or something. You know, like, that image of dogs playing poker? It's like that, but fairies. And they just have, like, comically large Mickey Mouse hands. One smoking a fat cigar. Drinking, like, Hyrule-themed beer. Sounds like a good time to me. The pirate ship? What was that one pixel? Oh, never mind, it's gone. What's the phrase people use for smoking weed, chuffing back a fat dart? I think it's a very Australian thing. That could work too. I don't know why, jumping makes me feel like I go slower. But I see speed lines, my brain also says maybe not. Upgrade, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, y'all. You, fairy, do my bidding. Spring is filled with a mysterious light. Which spirit gems do you want to present? Power. Power. So far you have located 11. With this many spirit gems, more of your spirit of power's true ability be unleashed. Come forth. On using the spirit gems this boy has collected, search yourself for the true extent of your spirit power. Come it. Or just a water drop, that's it. Uh, your sword now burns with flames. Oh, cool. May the divine protection of the spirit be with you. So I believe you can now swap between your spirits, but can the other spirits take care of you like I do? Oh! Wait, does that mean they do dialogue different from you, and I don't have to hear you? That'd be fantastic! Oh, that'd be wonderful! I would have done this sooner, eh? Actually, the question is, do you do anything? In the meantime, his otherwise fire burn sword sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty fine. Go, 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 go. Uh. Now protects you. Shield defense is shield defense. Okay, I, I don't know if that means I literally take less damage or just my shield does better, which that sounds fucking stupid. 
That sounds fucking stupid. Do I swap it from here or what? Spirit of power. Yeah, I'm assuming d literally she does nothing then. Now my sword is a fire sword. All right. And you know what? That's all I ever really needed. So I'm done for now. Th that that's me saving in the background. Uh, pretty sleepy night. Pretty calm night. I'm going to call it a day here. Either way, thank you anybody for coming out, hanging out, chatting, lurking, following. Always greatly appreciated. I'll be back. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe day after? Depending on if I'm allowed to sleep or not. We will see, I guess. Uh, either way, thank you all very much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.